Oh my good lord. I have played a little bit of Undertale in seventh grade, but I don't, I'm not an expert. I'm not an Undertale expert. So this is gonna be almost a blind look. Name the fallen human. My papa's bakeria, dude. I named him Thimbus, so we'll go Thimbus. Oh, there's no room. Thims is fine. Wow, I'm a jiggly jiggly boy. There I am. Okay. Wow, that is that a jumper? Am I wearing a jumper? Is that like a onesie? I like it. Well, howdy. Wow, he did say howdy. Oh my god, that's how I address everyone. Howdy, I'm Flowey. Flowey the flower. You're new to the underground, aren't ya? Well, I like your friendly manner of speaking. Golly, you must be so confused. Someone ought to teach you how things work around here. I guess little old me will have to do. Ready? Here we go. I'm ready. Battle. <laughs> See that heart? That's your soul. The very culmination of your being. I can move it around. Look at me go. You want some love, don't you? I don't like that. You, you're gross. I'll share some with you. I'm okay. Love is shared through little white friendliness pellets. Are those pills? Is that uh, are those opioids? No, I'm a clean boy. I went through the dare program. Absolutely not. Hey, buddy, <laughs> you missed them. Let's try again, okay? Okay, fine. I'll I'll commit. All right, it was opioids. In this world, it's kill or be killed. That's fair. That's fair. You can do neither, though. Why would anyone pass an opportunity like this? I guess if you're going for, like... Oh, okay. If you're going for kill count, then sure. What if I... What can I... Pardon? Aw. We were re I was really getting somewhere with that guy. I can fix him! Ah, uh, do not be afraid, my child. I am Toriel, caretaker of the ruins. Why is that in red? I pass through this place every day to see if anyone has fallen down. You are the first human to come here in a long time. Oh, it's Poiple. Ooh. Well, isn't this just lovely? Oh, I like you, actually. You seem sweet. I don't know if I'm falling for something. But you seem sweet. The shadow of the ruins looms above, filling you with determination. HP fully restored. Oh, I like that sound. That's really satisfying. Oh, this is a little leaf pile. It doesn't let me play in them. This game sucks ass, dude. I was really looking forward to that. Can I climb these? Okay. Allow me to educate you in the operation of the ruins. I built it so it would be inconvenient as hell to go literally anywhere. Wow, I would go insane if I lived here. That being said, I'm an absolute puzzle wizard. Oh. Only the fearless may proceed. Brave ones, foolish ones, both walk not the middle road. Okay, calm down. Did you get that at home goods? To make progress here, you will need to trigger several switches. Do not worry, I have labeled the ones you need to flip. Oh, thank God. I'm an absolute moron. Please press this switch. Toriel. What do I do? As a human living in the underground, monsters may attack you. You will need to be prepared for this situation. However, worry not. The process is simple. Go for the jugular. Stall for time. I will come to resolve the conflict. That's quite cute. Not much for conversation. Well, let me give it my best shot. You talk to the dummy. Doesn't seem much for conversation. That's what I said. Wow, I made this game. Real seems happy with you. I'm glad. I earned nothing. She she wants me to, to not hurt anything because they're her legions. And then they're going to all strike at the very end. And it's going to be like, oh, if only I killed them when I had the chance. The flower was right. Trying to have a fun time here. Uh-oh. It's a froggy. Ah, yeah. Oh, it screamed. Oh. Damn. Okay. I was getting somewhere. But here, take my hand for a moment. Damn it. She's literally hand-holding. I, I wanted to give it a shot. I would like you to walk to the end of the room by yourself. Forgive me for this. Okay. Is everyone having fun? Yeah, okay. Greetings, my child. Do not worry. I did not leave you. Okay. I was kind of hoping. You must stay alone for a while. Please remain here. It's dangerous to explore by yourself. Okay. Can I ha Oh, a cell phone! I'm gonna leave instantly. Hello, this is Toriel. You have not left the room, have you? I'm gonna have to block that number, I'm afraid. I have some advice for you about battling monsters. If you act a certain way, or fight until you almost defeat them, they might not want to battle you anymore. If a monster does not want to fight you, please use some mercy. Okay, okay. Everything in here is telling me not to kill anything. I'll take some candy. Took a piece of candy. Whimson approached meekly. Okay, let's try acting as as requested. Terrorize. I'm gonna console you. Halfway through your first word, Whimson bursts into tears and runs away. Okay, uh, I think we. I think we handled that like a champion. What is this? Air vents? 
Is this gonna- Oh! I have fallen and broken mine two ankles. I don't want to threat. I want to be a nice boy. I'm gonna compliment you. Rocket didn't understand what you said, but was flattered anyway. Ah, oh, I'm glad. I'm glad I could help. Does that mean I can show mercy? Spare. Hell yeah. For no reason in particular, which do you prefer? Cinnamon or butterscotch? Oh, I'm a bee scotch boy. I'm not a huge cinnamon fan. What happens if I just spare it straight out the... No. Okay, so I have to get it to... Oh my god! Okay, so if they're... If their name is yellow, then we can we can give them the presidential pardon. Um, cool. Is this one gonna be freaking trial and error? Nope. Okay, so it's far right, like a little snake. Okay, far right, and then let. Okay. Oh, you're just like a wimpy little baby. Oh, you're already yellow. Can I just straight up? Okay. You need a dedicated animator. Freaking anyone wants to apply? <laughs> For shit's sake! Yeah, I love you, sweet pea. Get out of my face, please. I'm busy. Am I- is this dumb? Is what I'm doing dumb? Because I don't know if y'all have noticed. I have gained no experience points. Whoa there, partner. Who said you could push me around? So you're asking me to move over? Okay, just for you, pumpkin. You did so good. I'm gonna ask a little more from you. You want me to move some more? Alrighty, how's this? Okay, so we're on the right track. Ah, oh, you little genius. I'm so proud of you. So helpful. You're doing all the right things. I'm just gonna need you to hold hold the line a little bit. Give me a real workout. You're a rock. I think you'll manage. So Whimson is ready to be to be unemployed. Froggit is not. So we're gonna go ahead and tell Froggit that he's hot as shit. Love you, Pat Pat. Knowing that the mouse might one day leave its hole and get the cheese fills you with determination. This cheese has been here quite a long time. It's stuck to the table. Ew. Can I still grab it? What the hell is that? Is that like an uh, an arrow? Nope, I cannot move through it. Is it a character? This ghost keeps saying Z out loud repeatedly, pretending to sleep. Oh, I don't want to bother it. Move with force. No. Do I have to? What the hell, dude? I'm sorry. It is a little ghost. Napstabluke. Where have I heard that name? I'm a cheer for you. I get. Oh, you gave Napstabluke a paint, a patient smile. Ah, I'm picking up his spear. Okay, you know what? Never mind. That's that's rough. Oh. Oh my god, okay. Really not feeling up to it right now, sorry. That's okay, let me try. Are you gonna... Oh, he's still crying. I call it Dapper Bluke. It's lovely. You're doing a great job. Oh, gee. It just hit me. It's the freaking, the dude, the, my, my one Nintendo Switch friend. No, his name is Tenta Bluke. I wonder if it's inspired by Napster Bluke. Y'all know the guy if you've been to like any of my streams where I play Switch games. My, my one friend on Nintendo Switch. Oh, I'm rambling again. I'll get out of your way. No, come back. Spider bake sale. All proceeds go to real spiders. 18G, I don't have that much money. 7G, I don't have that much money either. God, these spiders are scam artists. What the hell is that? F spiders. If you also dislike spiders, obliterate the like button for me. I heard using F4 can make you have a full screen. I already done that. Aw. Okay. Mike Wazowski. Leave 7G in the web? Absolutely. Some spiders crawled down and gave you a donut. What? Wow, spider donut. I'm so proud of them. Vegetoid. Let's talk. Plants can't talk, dummy. Yeah, my fault. What about dinner? You pat your stomach. Vegetoid offers a healthy meal. Eat your greens. Okay. Oh. Oh. Oh, no, I can spare it. It just wanted me to eat healthy. Dude, all the all the folks in this, they just want friends. Seven attack, five defense. Seems evil, but it's just with the wrong crowd. Okay. Maybe he doesn't like the sexy wiggles from Mold Small. So do I have to spare Mold Small? Oh, he's dancing! La la, just be yourself. Oh, he's bugging down. You found a faded ribbon. Defense three. If you're cuter, monsters won't hit you as hard. Hell yeah, they won't. Third name origin story. Hell yeah. So my name is Thomas. And after just like years, my friend uh, started calling me Thermos. Eventually, Thermos became inconvenient too long. So he started just calling me Therm and has been calling me Therm for years. And then when I made my YouTube channel, well, I made a channel with a friend and then I wanted to make a personal channel so I could like upload like the kind of games, like single player games and the kind of games that I like to play that I thought my friend might not like to play. And I couldn't think of a name. So I just put Therm as like a placeholder until I thought of one. Uh, and then I forgot to change it. I can get it. I have my key ribbon on. I'm hot as hell. I'm so damn attractive. Okay, I'm a little low on health. I'm gonna eat my spider donut. Yum, yum, yum. Thank you for the donut, guys. It was delicious. Eat your greens. Ate your greens. Hell yeah, I ate. I'm in a constant state of serving and eating. We're all too intimidated to talk to her. Aw, but she seems very sweet. 
so there's a knife. Yeah, that tree. Is that tree gonna come to life and kill me? It's kind of creepy. How did you get here, my child? Are you hurt? It was irresponsible to try to surprise you like this. Oh, what happened? Surprise! You've got chlamydia. Come, small one. Yes, ma'am. All right, I need to heal. Seeing such a cute, tidy house in the ruins gives you determination. Aye, aye. This voice is terrifying. Leave me alone. I just think she'd be a very comforting mom, and for me, that's like a comforting mom voice. It's a butterscotch cinnamon pie. I thought we might celebrate your arrival. I want you to have a nice time living here. So I will hold off on the snail pie for tonight. Thank you. I have another surprise for you. <gasps> Bye. <laughs> I'm gonna snoop through your shit. What a nice smell. Oh, it's a pie! I wonder if it's butterscotch flavor. Too hot to eat, though. Fire stoking tools. The ends of the tools have been filed down to make them safer. That is really cute. She baby-proofed the house for me. What's downstairs? I think I'll head back here later. I'll follow her now. I just want to- What? A room of your own. I hope you like it. Aww. Thanks, mama. Is something burning? Uh, make yourself at home. I thought the pie was out of the- Okay. It's me. It's you. It's Toriel's diary. Read the circled passage. I will snoop. You read the passage. Why did the skeleton want a friend? Because she was feeling bonely. The rest of the page is filled with jokes of a similar caliber. I dig it. That caliber is high. What is this? <gasps> it's my room. She made a room for me. Or this is like, maybe she had a kid who died. That would be sad. Look at these cool toys. They don't interest you at all. What about my Betty guy? Oh, I'm taking a snoozums. <gasps> she left me a piece of pie. You found a slice of butterscotch cinnamon pie. All HP. Max. It heals me for error tang I have. How are you? Bob, Bob, Bob. I like the way mouth moves. Um, I want you to know how glad I am to have someone here. There's so many old books I want to share. This may come as a surprise to you, but I have always wanted to be a teacher. Actually, perhaps that isn't very surprising. I don't know. I don't have. I wouldn't have any way of knowing. Still, I am glad to have you living here. Oh, did you want something? What is it? Um. Oh, I think I have to break the question. When can I go home? What? The, this is your home now. Um, would you like to hear about this book I'm reading? I would. Oh, I'm sorry. It is called 72 Uses for Snails. How about it? You know what? Sure. Here's an exciting snail fact. Did you know that snails have a chainsaw-like tongue called a radula? Interesting. I'd like to leave, ma'am. I have to do something. Stay here. Yeah, fat chance. Okay. 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 Am I about to get locked into a fight? Oh, God. Hello. You wish to know how to return home, do you not? Ahead of us lies the end of the ruins. A one-way exit to the rest of the underground. I am going to de destroy it? No one will ever be able to leave again. What? Now be a good child and go upstairs. No! Every human that falls down here meets the same fate. I have seen it again and again. They come. They leave. They die. You naive child, if you'd leave the ruins. They. Asgore! I wonder if his name is important. We'll kill you. I'm certain I'm only protecting you. Do you understand? Go to your room. No! This is your final warning. No! Rah! I'm gonna throw a tantrum. Take me to Dave and Buster's. You wanna leave so badly? Hmm. <laughs> You are just like the others. Hell yeah, I am. I am derivative and simple-minded. Prove to me you are strong enough to survive. Shit, baby. Okay. No, don't fight. We can we can hash this out. Oh, I accidentally checked her out. I'm sorry. That's gross. 80 attack, 80 defense. Knows best for you? Clearly not. I'm not I, as captivating. Ah! Okay, as captivating as your snail facts are, I tried to think of something to say again, but what do I do? I'm not just gonna check her out over and over again, and I can't think of what to say. Do I have to fight? That one frog said, if you act in the right way or fight until someone's almost dead, you can spare them. So maybe I have to fight her, but not kill her. Hiya! Oh, that's gonna take a hot minute. Okay, takes a deep breath. 
Well, I'll give you a deep chest wound. Oh, wow, that did nothing. Can I spare you yet? No. I can flee. Oh, that just resets the goddamn... Okay, you know what? I'm gonna go heal, and then I'm, I'm back for you. Tutorial blocks... Wait, what if... Okay, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. What if I have to throw and assume that she won't have the guts to kill me? Hit me. Hit me. Hit me. Hit me. I'm gonna beat myself up. I have one health. Takes a deep breath. Do you have it in you? No! See? Ha ha! She won't do it! Well, then what do I do now? Spare. It didn't work. Okay. Um, clear. Do I actually need to fight her? Maybe now we can chat. Couldn't think of any conversation topic. I can think of a few. What do you mean? Now is not the time to not be able to think of conversation. Here's a, here's a good starter. If you touch me one more time, I'm dead. Please let me leave or you will kill me. Those are the only two outcomes here. I got dialogue when I spared her. What if I, is it? Okay, this time it's two rows of dots. Do I have to just keep freaking sparing? Acting aloof. What are you doing? Oh, her expression softened. Ha ha! I'm sparing you. Attack or run away. No! I am, uh, I am, I am, I am holding my ground. I'm determined. That was the word. Look at her weird little freaking go feet. Not him bashing her feet. Her feet are weird, dude. I can't help it. Stop looking at me that way. Oh, she knows I'm looking at her feet. I'm sorry. That's fair. That's gross of me. God, yeah, that's a bad luck that my first instinct was to instantly hone in on the feet. I promise I'm not a foot person. Oh, music stopped. I know you want to go home, but... But please, go upstairs now. No. I promise I will take good care of you here. Aw, oh, with the smile. No, I trust you. I trust that you'll take good care of me here, but I want to go back to the... I want to meet new friends. I know we do not have much, but... I do like my toys. We can have a good life here. Why are you making this so difficult? Please, go upstairs. Aw, oh, this is very sad. Aw, oh, I'm sorry. Ha ha. Did you think of another banger joke? Pathetic, is it not? Yeah, it's pretty pathetic. Cannot save even a single child. You wouldn't be saving a child. You'd be imprisoning a child. Dot, dot, dot. No, I understand. You would just be unhappy trapped down here. The runes are very small once you get used to them. It would not be right for you to grow up in a place like this. Thank you. I need, I need a cultural palette. For you, my child, I will put them aside. Thank you. If you truly wish to leave the ruins, I will not stop you. However, when you leave, please do not come back. I hope you understand. Can I still give you a ring? Aww, a big hug. Big hug. Goodbye, my child. Bye. Oh. Oh, goodbye. Aww. Can I call your phone? Call her mom. Nobody picked up. Aww. What is happening? Oh, for shit's sake. Clever. Very clever. You think you're really smart, don't you? Bet you feel really great. You didn't kill anybody this time. But what do you do if you meet a relentless killer? You'll die, and you'll die, and you'll die. That's actually fair. What do you do then? Will you kill out of frustration? Or will you give up entirely on this world? And let me inherit the power to control it? Oh, okay. Ah, I like it. I'm the prince of this world's future. Jesus Christ. Don't worry, my little monarch. My plan isn't regicide. This is so much more interest. Oh, my God. Peace. Okay. So is this like a, is that like a super meta commentary about like the actual gameplay experience where it's like, oh, if you get bored, then you'll like quit the game and, and abandon it. Oh shit. Oh shit. What is about to happen? Undertale. <laughs> By Toby Fox. Good job, Toby Fox. I'm having a great time. I don't like this noise. I like the atmosphere though, snowy woods. A stick, can I crack it? Can I be like, whoops? No, okay. Ah! <gasps> Someone is following me. Okay. Perhaps it was just the wind. Bridge. You know, I could probably make, I could squeeze through those bars. Okay. Wow, you're the first person to be my height. Human, don't you know how to greet a new pal? Turn around and shake 
My hand. Aye, aye, Captain. Is this saying... Oh, I don't like that silhouette at all. It is! I know you. You're everywhere. You're in the internets. <laughs> what the hell is that text sound? <laughs> the old whoopee cushion in the hand trick. It's always funny. Anyways, you're a human, right? That's hilarious. Is it really? That's a super disrespectful thing to say. I'm Sans. Sans the skeleton. I'm actually supposed to be on watch for humans right now. But, you know, I don't really care about capturing anybody. Now my brother, Papyrus, he's a human hunting fanatic. Hey, actually, I think that's him over there. <gasps> Make a new friend? I have an idea. Go through this gate thingy. Yeah, go right through it. My bro made the bars too wide to stop anyone. I did it! Oh! That lamp is me-shaped! Quick, behind that conveniently shaped lamp! Hell yeah! You know what's up, brother? Brother! <laughs> is it, what is the whole Kogan? It's been eight days and you still haven't recalibrated your puzzles! You just hang around outside your station! What are you even doing? Staring at this lamp. It's really cool. So you wanna look? No! I don't have time for that! What if a human comes through here? I want to be ready. I will capture a human. Then I, the great Papyrus, will get all the things I utterly deserve. Respect. Recognition. I will finally be able to join the Royal Guard. Okay, I like your cape flowing. Okay, so you're like... I'm gonna say you're the main character of this game. I think you deserve to be. People will ask to be... Be my... Friend! I will bathe in a shower of kisses every morning. I'll give you all of the kisses. All you do is boondoggle. Oh, sit and boondoggle. What is boondoggle? Is that a for real word? I'm just heading to Webster's, Miriam Webster. It is a word. Hey, take it easy. I've gotten a ton of work done today. A skeleton. Damn, if I could do that, if I could do that on command anytime I say anything, I just need like a soundboard. <sighs> Why does someone as great as me have to do so much just to get some recognition? Wow, sounds like you're really working yourself down to the bone. Give me another one. Hell yeah. Ugh. I will attend to my puzzles. As for your work, put a little more backbone into it. Does he get the zoom? No, that's not fair. <laughs> okay, bye, bye, bye. Can I come out now? <laughs> okay. The butt cheek rocks. What do they mean? I was thinking. My brother's been kind of down lately. He's never seen a human before. And seeing you might just make his day. Don't worry. He's not dangerous. Even if he tries to be. Thanks a million. I'll be up ahead. Oh, am I gonna? Am I gonna be a plant? Oh, that's that's cute. This is a box. You can put an item inside or take an item out. The same box will appear later. So don't worry about coming back. Sincerely, a box lover. Tough glove. <laughs> I get it. Bandage. Heals 10 HP. It has already been used several times. Yum. Okay, what about this? <gasps> Ow. That's a reflect. Oh God, give me a moment. Ah! Snow Drake. This teen comedian fights to keep a captive audience. Ice to meet you. There's a joke. I'll laugh. Ha ha ha. I laugh. See? Laughs. Dad was wrong. Oh, that's really cute. Snow Drake is pleased. Yay. Sans. Oh my God. Is that a human? In the flesh. Uh, actually, I think that's a rock. What's that in front of the rock? Oh my god! Is is that a human? Yes. Oh my god! Sans, I finally did it! Undyne will... I'm gonna... I'll be so popular, popular, popular! Oops, I skipped your dialogue. Human, you shall not pass this area. I, the great Papyrus, will stop you. I will then capture you. You will be delivered to the capital. I feel like this dude... What's the voice I gave that um dude from Pokemon? The super obnoxious one who talked like a Shakespeare novel. He seems very theatrical and flamboyant. Continue. Only if you dare. <laughs> I feel like he's one of those people. One of those like, mm, yes. Yeah. Well, that went well. I feel like he's one of those like, mm. Oh, oh my god. He definitely is. Okay, that's what we'll stick with. Ice cap! I love your hat! Oh my god, is it origami? You inform ice cap that has a great hat. Duh! Who doesn't know? Okay, never mind. I don't want to compliment you anymore. You're an ass hat about it. <gasps> an ass hat! I'm gonna ignore you. You managed to tear your eyes away from ice cap's hat. Looks annoyed. Hello! My hat's up here! Oh, it wants attention. You're not looking at ice cap's hat. I'm just looking at the floor. Seems defeated. Ice cap is desperate for attention. Bye. Perfect voice. All right, then I'll stick with it. I'll stick with it. Just for you. It's kind of exhausting, though, and I have no experience doing voice work. Absolutely no moving. Okay. Oh. It's a doggy. Did something move? 
Was it my imagination? I could only see moving things. Something was moving. For example, a human. I'll make sure it never moves again. Doggy! Whoa, your fit is radical! The spotted pants? You got a belt on? The tank is good, too. Damn, and, and master, master the blade? I'm a petcha. Too suspicious of your movements. Don't move an inch, okay? Ha <laughs> ha, I called your bluff. Oh, now that you can't see me, now I'll pet you. Oh, I got you, you pet doggo. What, I've been pet. Pot, pet, pet, pot. Oh my God, he's so confused. Oh, I can spare you now. Oh, he looks so embarrassed. Something pet me, something that isn't moving. I'm gonna need some dog treats for this. My brother has a very special attack. If you see a blue attack, don't move and it won't hurt you. Here's an easy way to keep it in mind. Imagine a stop sign. When you see a stop, oh my God. When you see a stop sign, you stop, right? Stop signs are red. So imagine a blue stop sign instead. Simple, right? When fighting, think about blue stop signs in yellow. That's funny. I will think about blue stop signs just for you, my friend. Oh. Oh, it's like the ice puzzles in the freaking Pokemon games. North, ice. South, ice. West, ice. East, Snowden Town. Is there any ice? Okay. Good to know. I want to go northward. Snowman! Hello, I am a snowman. I want to see the world, but I cannot move. If you would be so kind, traveler, please take a piece of me and bring it very far away. I would love, it would be an absolute honor. Heals 45, I'm never using that to heal. You're so lazy. You were napping all night. I think that's called sleeping. Excuses, excuses. Oh, the human arrives. In order to stop you, my brother and I have created some puzzles. I think you will find this one quite shocking. For you see, this is the invisible electricity maze. When you touch, oh, I thought it said tough. Sorry, I'm dyslexic. When you touch the walls of this maze, this orb will administer a hearty zap. Sound like fun? Because the amount of fun you will have is actually rather small, I think. Okay, you can go ahead now. Wow, OBS is freaking out. I'm clipping the mic constantly. That's the perfect voice. I'm so glad. I'm doing my very best. Ah! What the hell just happened? Oh my god, <laughs> I'm sorry, actually freaked me out. Sans, what did you do? What did he do? I think the human has to hold the orb. Oh, okay. Sorry, sorry. Oh. <laughs> Radical. Hold this, please. Wow. He's got a cannon. Okay, try now. I'm stuck, y'all. I don't know what to do. Incredible, you slippery snail. You solved it so easily. Too easily. The next puzzle will not be easy. It is designed by my brother, Sans. You will surely be confounded. I know I am. <laughs> Whoa, my God. Okay, he's got wheels. Whoops, I wanted to talk to... Oh, I missed my chance. Oh, hot dog salesman. Do you sell hot dogs? I don't understand why these aren't selling. It's the perfect weather for something cold. Oh, you're not selling hot dogs. Oh, a customer. Hello, would you like some nice cream? It's the frozen treat that warms your heart. Now just 15 G. I'd love some nice cream. Here you go. Have a super duper day. I'm a I'm a buy I'm a buy you out of house and home. I love supporting small businesses. I just bought the hell out of this nice cream. Look at how much nice cream I have. A snowball. Can I investigate it? No, I can just hit it around. Oh, it's getting smaller. Do I have to like? Oh. Oh, when you hit it, it stops getting smaller. But if you leave it unattended, it starts to shrink. Huh. Yeah, I'm gonna get a perfect score. Shit! Keep it moving, keep it moving. Banger! It's a yellow flag. Your surefire accuracy put an end to the mayhem of ball. You are awarded 3G. I put an end to the mayhem of ball. Human! I hope you're ready for... What? Sans, where's the puzzle? It's right there, on the ground. Trust me, there's no way they can get past this one. Actually, he's got a point. I am total shit at word searches. Why does that thing just say nightmare? Oh my god. Oh, are those the characters? Icy and Nightmare? I give up. You stumped me. I'll go back. Sans, the human is escaping. You made the puzzle too hard. Hey, you, get back here. Okay, fine, fine. Sans, that didn't do anything. Whoops. No, I should have used today's crossword instead. I'm not good at crosswords either. What? Crossword? Can't believe you said that. In my opinion, Junior Jumble is easily the hardest. That easy peasy word scramble? 
As for baby bones, I am actually pretty fire at the at the word jumbles. That's like, that's my in terms of word puzzles. That's probably what I'm best at. Unbelievable. Human, solve this dispute. Which is harder? Oh, crossword, a hundred percent. Dude, jumble is easy peasy. You two are weird. Crosswords are so easy. It's the same solution every time. I just fill all the boxes in with the letter Z. Because every time I look at a crossword, all I can do is snore. Wow, that was pretty clever. Yeah. Bye. Can I ring the bell? No. Okay. La, 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 ba, 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 da, ba, da. Human, please enjoy this spaghetti. Little do you know, this spaghetti is a trap designed to entice you. You'll be so busy eating it that you won't realize that you aren't progressing. Thoroughly japed again by the great Papyrus. <laughs> papyrus. Lovingly written Papyrus. Knowing the mouse might one day find a way to heat up the spaghetti. Fills you with determination. I want spaghetti. I'm pretty hungry, actually. It's a plate of frozen spaghetti. It's so cold, it's stuck to the table. Man, y'all need to get, like, non-stick tables or something. What is this? Ah! It's a puppy! Lesser dog! You're not lesser to me. I think you're greater than life. Man, I wonder what I should do. I'll pet you. you be oh, it's head got- It's head grew. You barely lifted your head and lesser dog got excited. Oh, is it leaning up to meet my hand? What is happening? Is that- ah! I've done it. Hooray! I earned nothing. Are you a lovely, happy couple? What's that smell? Where's that smell? If you're a smell. Identify your smell. Wow, they're scatting. Makes me want to eliminate. Eliminate you! Ah, Oh, it's smooching! You roll around in the dirt and snow. You smell like a weird puppy. Ah, I see. I need to trick their, their noses. Oh, shit. Ah. Ah! Oh, my God. Okay. Now can I pet you? Wow, pet by another pup. Wow. I opened their minds and new experience. Look at their eyes. It's you. God damn it. I can't, honestly, as much as I love your character, pretty excited to leave you behind because your voice is wearing on me. What? <laughs> How did you avoid my trap? And more importantly, is there any left for me? Uh, I, I, I ate your paquetti. I don't want to, I don't want to hurt his feelings. Really? Wowie. No one's ever enjoyed my cooking before. I loved it. Well then, fret not, human. I, Master Chef Papyrus, will make you all the pasta you could ever want. I love spaghetti. Spaghetti so good. My brother star. I thought it said start in, and I thought it was about to be something rad. My brother started a, sto a sock collection recently. How saddening. You should be more supportive. Sometimes I wonder what he would do without such a cool guy taking care of him. Check this shit. Check me out. Boom, boom, clap. Boom, boom, clap. Y'all remember that scene from whatever the hell it was called? Camp Rock? It's the human! You're gonna love this puzzle! It was made by the great doctor- Whoa, oh god. Alphys? 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 Alphys! The doctor! You see these tiles? Once I throw this switch, they will begin to change color. Each color has a different function. Red tiles are impassable. You cannot walk on them. Yellow tiles are electric. They will electrocute you. Green tiles are alarm tiles. If you step on them, you will have to fight a monster. Or, oh God, okay. Orange tiles are orange scented. They will make you smell delicious. Blue tiles are water tiles. Swim through them if you like, but if you smell like oranges, the piranhas will bite you. Also, if a blue tile is next to a yellow tile, the water will also zap you. Purple tiles are slippery. You will slide to the next tile. However, the slippery soap smells like lemons, which piranhas do not like. Purple and blue are okay. Finally, pink tiles. They don't do anything. Oh my god. I have a feeling none of this is gonna matter. It's gonna, I'm just gonna be able to waltz through it. Step on them all you like. How was that? Understand? Crystal clear, brother. This puzzle is entirely random. When I pull this switch, it will make a puzzle that has never been seen before. Not even I will know the solution. It's probably gonna switch to one where they're like all pink or something stupid. I see it. Mmm. Mm-hmm. There he goes. I'll see you around. A doggy building! What is that, a snow cylinder? Are you building a snow cylinder? A snow -linder? This dog is staring blankly into the snow, waiting for it to turn into art. You're doing so good, sweet pea. Pizza pop update, cooling down. Please keep me updated, I am on the edge of my seat. That dog considers itself an artist, but doesn't ever know what to create. 
It probably doesn't help that its brain is the size of a piece of kibble. Wow, you're a dick. It's a snow puff. And this is a snow puff. Is this a snow puff? This, however, is a snow puff. What about this, though? Surprisingly, it's a snow puff. Wow. What about this? Woof. Doggy. What a tiny dog house. Aw. What's this called? Snow puff. How about this one? Is it really a snow puff? Maybe. What about this one? Behold, a snow puff. And you. Uh? There's 30G inside. Ah, what is this? Probably a snow puff. It's a snow puff. Okay. What about you, snow puff? <gasps> what is it? Is it a doggy? Hi, hello, puppy boy. Can I pet you? Can I pet you? Oh my, oh my god. Oh my. Wow, look at you, mister. So big and strong. How about I beckon you? You call the greater dog. It bounds towards you, flecking slobber into your face. Oh my god, I'm gonna make a freaking best friend. Sign me the hell up. Make a snowball and throw it for the dog to fetch. It splats on the ground. Greater dog picks up all the snow in the area and brings it to you. Thank you. Now the dog is very tired. Rests its head on you. Oh, it's contented. Wow, that was the cutest fight I've ever seen. What a sweet puppy. <gasps> Hi. Oh, it's like a Samoyed. Oh, oh, bye-bye. Oh, my God. Oh, God, here we go. Okay. <clears throat> Human! <sighs> I could never. I need to finish. I need to make sure I finish this game before I go back to school because this is so damn loud. I could not do this in my tiny freaking suite. Plus, I'm having two new people move in. This is your final and most dangerous challenge. Behold the gauntlet of deadly terror. Wow. There's a doggy. When I say the word, it will fully activate. Cannons will fire, spikes will swing, blades will slice. Each part will swing violently up and down. Only the tiniest chance of victory will remain. Are you ready? Because I am about to do it. Okay, well, what's the hold up? Hold up, what hold up? Ring ding 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 ding. I'm about, I'm about to activate it now. Let me know when that happens. A few business days, perhaps. That, uh, doesn't look very activated. Well, this challenge, it seems maybe too easy to defeat the human with. Yeah, yeah, we can't use this one. I am a skeleton with standards. My puzzles are very fair, and my traps are expertly cooked. But this method is too direct. No class at all. Anyway, it goes. Bye. Phew. What are you looking at? This was another decisive victory for Papyrus. Yeah. Huh. Huh. Okay, bye. Yeah, I'll take a manly bandana. Caring too much. Don't tell me what I can and cannot do. Yo, you're a kid too, right? I can tell because you're wearing a striped shirt. Hell yeah. What's up this way? Hate that. It's, it's the library. Welcome to the library. Yes, we know. The sign is misspelled. Is it? Library. Oh, it's Librarby. God, I didn't even notice. When I was younger, my teachers gave me word searches when they ran out of assignments. I thought they were a waste of time. But look at me now. I'm the number one word search creator in the entire underground. Whoa. Oh my God, am I like, is this frostbite? Oh God. There I am. It's Papyrus. Human, <laughs> allow me to tell you about some complex feelings. Is he in love with me? Feelings like the joy of finding another pasta lover, the admiration for another's puzzle solving skills, the desire to have a cool smart person think you are cool. These feelings, they must be what you are feeling right now. I can, uh, so honestly, I like, I've been wrestling with it since I showed up here. Can hardly imagine what it must be like to feel that way. After all, I am very great. I pity you, lonely human. Worry not, you shall be lonely no longer. I, the great Papyrus, will be your friend? No, no, this is all wrong. I can't be your friend. You are a human. I must capture you. Then I can fulfill my lifelong dream. Powerful, popular, prestigious. That's Papyrus. They do all start with peas. The newest member of the Royal Guard. Oh, God. 
Shit, man. All right. What up, brother? Okay, I'm not fighting you. Oh, my God. I'm 100% flirting with Papyrus. What? F flirting? So you finally reveal your ultimate feelings. Well, I am a skeleton with very high standards. I can make spaghetti. Oh, no. You're meeting all of my standards. I guess this means I have to go on a date with you. I should put... I have zero redeeming qualities. Let's date later after I capture you. Okay. Shit, man, this is tough. Then let's see if you can handle my fabled blue attack. Okay. I think I took care of it. I just thought of that blue stop sign. What the hell? Pardon? Oh, I'm... Oh, I have gravity now. You're blue now. That's my attack. Yeah. He got me. You're blue now. Yeah, I freaking figured. Here I come. I'm not moving. Ah! Oh my god. Papyrus, head of the royal god. Yep, that's what they'll call you. I am getting shat on. Let's eat some candy. I ate the monster candy. Woo! Woo! I, uh, bro. Uh, I'm a sparia, mister. Oops, I skipped your dialogue. Ah! Ah! Wee! Ah! After you're captured and sent away. Wee! Shit. Give up or face my special attack. What's your sign? Guess. If you know it, don't spoil. I want people who don't know. I want people to guess what mine is. Aries, Leo, Taurus, 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 Termo, Gemini, Virgo, Aquarius, Scorpio. Oh, I'm seeing a, a hot burst of Libra toward the end. Gemini, Scorpio, Sagittarius, Sagittatius, sorry. I am, in fact, a Taurus. I don't know what that means. Wee. That, that. Oh, it's your special attack. I love it. What the heck? It's my special attack. Hey, you stupid dog. Do you hear me? Stop munching on that bone. Hey, what are you doing? Come back here with my special attack. Oh, well. I'll just use a really cool regular attack. Aw. <sighs> Here's an absolutely normal attack. I'm sorry. You were really excited to show it to me. And then, oh, for God's sake. Wee! Wee! Whoa! 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 Whoa, doggy! Cool! Dude! Yo! Okay, you got style. Oh, shit. Oh, I can just... Oh, I'm, I'm, I'm elevating. Elevating. Oh, my God. Meow. It's clear you can't defeat me. Yeah, I can see you shaking in your boots. Therefore, I, the great Papyrus, elect to grant you pity. I will spare you, human. Now is your chance to accept my mercy. What if I go for the kill shot here? Would it instantly kill him? God, how uncool would that be? I'll spare you, though. We're buds. Yo, hoo hoo. Is that the sound you make when you're crying? I can't even stop someone as weak as you. Undyne's going to be disappointed in me. I'll never join the royal guard, and my friend quantity will remain stagnant. What should you say? What a loser. <laughs> Let's be friends. Really? You want to be friends with me? I guess I can make an allowance for you. Wowie, we haven't even had our first date, and I've already managed to hit the friend zone. Who knew that all I needed to make pals was to give people awful puzzles and then fight them? You taught me a lot, human. I hereby grant you permission to pass through and I'll give you directions to the surface. Continue forward until you reach the end of the cavern. Then, when you reach the capital, cross the barrier. That's the magical seal trapping us all underground. Anything can enter through it, but nothing can exit, except someone with a powerful soul, like you. That's why the king wants to acquire a human. He wants to open the barrier with soul. Oh my God, am I, is this genocide? Like, is it, am I gonna get picked off? Wants to open the barrier with soul power. Then us monsters can return to the surface. The king of all monsters, he is. Well, he's a big fuzzy pushover. Everybody loves that guy. I am certain that if you just say, excuse me, Mr. Dreamer, can I please go home? He'll guide you straight to the barrier himself. Anyway, that's enough talking. I'll be at home being a cool friend. 
Feel free to come by and have that date. Oh, I will do so immediately. Whoa, 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 whoa. Thanks to the person who just popped into the chat just to go balls. Couldn't agree more. Wow, you're so eager to date me. You're trying to go into my house without me. That's really weird. Okay, can we talk? I'll have to take you someplace really special. A place I like to spend a lot of time. It's just gonna be his house. I stand corrected. You know, no, I think he's gonna, no, he's gonna. I knew it, you little goof. My house. All right, let's party. Wow, y'all, your carpet is groovy. What the hell, who, uh, I, you know what? Bad news, I think your house is on fire. This is my brother's pet rock. He always forgets to feed it. As usual, I have to take responsibility. The rock is covered in sprinkles. That's really cute. What about your friggy? Aha! Interested in my food museum? Please peruse my culinary art show. Half of the fridge is filled with containers all labeled spaghetti. The other half contains nothing but an empty bag of chips. Can we go in your room? There are all those signs on it though. That's my room! If you finish looking around, we could go in and do whatever people do when they date. Smooch! Whoa! Your room is rad, dude. I love the race car bed. That's my bed! If I ever get to the surface, I'd like to drive down a long highway, wind in my hair, sun on my skin. Of course, that's just a dream. So instead, I cruise while I snooze. Do you want to start the date? Yes, so badly. Okay, dating start. Oh my God. Dating, start. Wow, here we are on our date. I've actually never done this before, but don't worry. You can't spell prepared without several letters from my name. Whoa. I snagged an official dating rule book from the library. <gasps> There's the HUD, it's Thursday and it's sunny. Wow, crime. Population is dropping, oh my God. Oh, oh, we're good now, oh my God. Wow, okay. Step two, ask them on a date. <clears throat> Human, I, the great papyrus, will go on a date with you. Yes, really, wowie. I guess that means it's time for part three. Put on nice clothes to show you care. I like your clothes. Wait a second. Wear clothing. That bandana around your head. You're wearing clothing right now. Not only that, earlier today you were also wearing clothing. No, could it be? You've wanted to date me from the very beginning. Yes. Oh, I killed him. No, you planned it all. You're way better at dating than I am. No, your dating power. Oh my god. <laughs> Don't think you've bested me yet. Oh my god, the tension is through the roof. I can easily keep up with you. You see, I too can wear clothing. In fact, I always wear special clothes underneath my regular clothes. Just in case somebody happens to ask me on a date. Behold. It better look fly. Yo, that's sick. What do you think of my secret style? I love it. No, a genuine compliment. Wow. This date won't escalate any further unless you find my secret, but that won't happen. Oh, it's a present. You found my secret. I suppose I have no choice. It's a present. A present just for you. It's spaghetti. Do you know what this is? Of course. Spaghetti. That's what you're thinking, isn't it? <gasps> right. But oh, so wrong. This ain't any plain old pasta. This is an artisan's work. Silk and spaghetti, finely aged in an oaken cask, then cooked by me, Master Chef Papyrus. Human, it's time to end this. There's no way this can go any further. I'm gonna eat it. Take a small bite. Your face reflexively scrunches up. The taste is indescribable. What a passionate expression. You must really love my cooking, and by extension, me. Maybe even more than I do. Ah! Ah! No! I've beaten him. I am better. You're madly in love with me. Everything you do, everything you say, it's all been for my sake. I'm sorry. I don't like you the way you like me. Romantically, I mean. I mean, I tried very hard to. Human, I'll help you through these trying times. I'll keep being your cool friend and act like this all never happened. Don't cry because I won't kiss you. Oh, I'm already crying. Tears are, tears are on the floor. Oh, and if you ever need to reach me, here's my phone number. You can call me anytime. Platonically. Well, that went well. Bye. Oh, it's per it's it's pretty. Is it like a cave area? Oh my god, I'm going on a I'm going on a date with both the bros. So what do you think? Of uh, my brother. So cool. Of course he's cool. You'd be cool too if you wore that outfit every day. Oh yeah, I wanted to ask you something. Music's quiet, I'm scared. Oh shit. Is he gonna <gasps> propose? 
Have you ever heard of a talking flower? Which talking flower? I know there's the one, the echo flower that we just saw, but there's also the one at the beginning of the game that tried to murk me. Yeah, I have. Well, Papyrus told me something interesting the other day. Sometimes when no one else is around, a flower appears and whispers things to him. Flattery, advice, encouragement, predictions. Yeah, okay. Hi, Undyne. I'm here with my daily report. Uh, regarding that human I called you about earlier. Did I fight them? Yes, of course I did. Fought them valiantly. Did I capture them? Well, no. I tried very hard, Undyne, but in the end, I failed. What? You're going to take the human soul yourself? But Undyne, you don't have to destroy them. You see, you see. Uh-oh. I'll help you in any way I can. Oh, he's, he's, in, he's in a tough spot here. Oh shit. I'm saying still. Okay. I'm just gonna head out if that's cool. Oh, for shit's sake. Yo, did you see the way she was staring at you? That was awesome. I'm so jealous. What did you do to get her attention? Come on, let's go watch her beat up some bad guys. Oh shit, he ate. He just, wow, okay. Feeling of dread hangs over me. Not Willy though. Oh, this dude's ripped. Aaron flexes in. Wait, couldn't I? Hold on. I want to see if there's a secret room to the right. Oh my god, that was just a crapshoot. Okay, uh, what do you have to say? I just wasn't ready for the responsibility. Huh? Oh, there's a quiche. There's a quiche underneath the bench. Can you take it? I'll take the quiche. Hello, this is Papyrus. How did I get this number? It was easy. I just dialed every number sequentially until I got yours. So, what are you wearing? I'm asking for a friend. She thought she saw you wearing a dusty tutu. Is that true? Are you wearing a dusty tutu? I would never lie to you. I would never lie to you. So you are wearing a dusty tutu. Got it. Wink, wink. Have a nice day. Washua. Washua, I'ma clean you. I'ma wash you. Oh, I'm asking Washua to clean me. Hops around excitedly. Cream me's clean. Ah, oh, it just likes to... Oh, shit. Uh. Uh. Ah. I got beaten up, but it helped. I got a little birdie in there. Monster defeats a human. They can take its soul. A monster with a human soul. A horrible beast with unfathomable power. Ah. Oh, shit. Oh, I gotta dodge the spurs. Low to high. Low to high. Oh, shit. Oh, she's gonna grab me. Womp. Oh, it's the freaking kid. Yep. <laughs> Let's put you back here. No worries. I'm never watching my face ever again. Man, are you unlucky. You're standing just a little bit to the left. Yo, don't worry. I'm sure we'll see her again. Oh, you don't understand. Knowing the mouse might one day extract the cheese from the mysterious crystal. Fills with determination. I believe in the mouse. This cheese has been here so long. A magical crystal has grown around it. I wonder if it's stuck to the table. It's stuck to the table. So, don't you have any wishes to make? Mm, just one, but it's kind of stupid. Yeah, probably. Ah! Hello, this is Papyrus. Remember when I asked you about clothes? Well, the friend who wanted to know, her opinion of you is very murdery. But I bet you knew that already. And because you knew that, I told her what you told me you were wearing. A dusty tutu. Because I knew, of course, after such a suspicious question, you would obviously change your clothes. You're such a smart cookie. Okay. Oh, my God. Shh, quiet. <laughs> Ew. I'm Onion-san. Onion-san, you here? You're visiting Waterfall, huh? Hey, that's okay. Beats moving to the city. I'm living in a crowded aquarium, like all my friends did. Alright, I'll, I'll be a, see you around. And the aquarium's full anyway, so even if I wanted to. That's okay, though. You here? Undyne's gonna fix everything, you here? I'm gonna get out of here and live in the ocean, you hear? Haunting song echoes down the corridor, won't you play along? It's a statue. Oh, it's all wet. Oh my god, can I put one in the statue to keep it dry? Put the umbrella in the statue, yes. Oh, this is what I have to play. Flawless performance. It's a legendary artifact. Will you take it? Well, of course. Carrying too much. The bandage only heals 10. Will you take it? Of course. Carrying too many dogs. I'm sorry. Oh, there's a dog. I'm gonna drop the dog. Put the dog on the ground. Puppy, I swear to Christ. I swear to Christ. Okay, you know what? That's fine. You, 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 honestly, I'm not even mad. Honestly, 
Honestly, he deserves it. He deserves it. He's a sweet boy who's been trying his hardest. Yo, you got an umbrella? Awesome. Yay. Let's go. La da dee, la da do, la da dum. Man, Undyne is so cool. She beats up bad guys and never loses. Wow, this is really cool. The end, it could hardly be called a war. United the humans were too powerful and us monsters too weak. Not a single soul was taken and countless monsters were turned to dust. Oh, well, that's very sad. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Mm. Uh-oh. Oh my god. Oh shit, I don't make mistakes. Really, you're attacking because I'm going the right way. It's a dead end. Oh, I thought I could get through there. I went the wrong way. I went the wrong way. I'm boned. Well, yep. It's been a pleasure. And yeah, that's... <gasps> New character. It sounds like it came from over here. Oh, you've fallen down, haven't you? Are you okay? Here, get up. Thims, huh? That's a nice name. Oh, my name is Danny. I've made a headcanon. It's a pile of trash. Look at all this. Look at all the trash. Partaking in worthless garbage fills you with determination. So true. That's half my content, baby. A bike! You rest your hand on the rusted bike. It's torn wheezes with a honk of despair. I was about to say, can I hear it? That didn't sound like despair. That sounded fun and cool. That sounded like the episode of SpongeBob where they have slide whistles and whatnot. There you go. I got astronaut food. Oh, those are actually the best. I don't know if y'all have ever had those like freeze dried, like Neapolitan ice cream rectangles from like a space museum or something. Those are f absolutely delicious. Oh, is it, is it the same one? Can we chat some more? Seems like a regular training dummy. Do you want to beat it up? No. Stare into each other's eyes for a moment. I hope it's the same one. Hello? Oh my God, is it a fight? <gasps> ha ha ha, too intimidated to fight me, huh? I'm a ghost that lives inside a dummy. My cousin used to live inside a dummy too, until you came along. When you talked to them, they thought they were in for a nice chat, but the things you said, horrible, shocking, unbelievable. It spooked them right out of their dummy. Human, I'll scare your soul out of your body. What did I say? I'm gonna talk to you. You talk to the dummy. Doesn't seem much for conversation. No one is happy with this. Oh, your friends. Ah. What the hell is that? Ow, you dummies. Watch where you're aiming your magic attacks. Oh, oh. Oh, there we go. I like this piano. I'm having a lot of fun here. Hey, guys. Dummies, dummies, dummies. Remember how I said not to shoot at me? Well, failures! You're fired! You're all being replaced! Oh, they look so bummed out. Now you'll see my true power, relying on people that aren't garbage. Dummy bots, you're awful! Dummy bots are actually kind of cooking me a little bit. Rah! Dummy bots, final attack! Neo, neo, neo. Oh, God. Beat him up! Oh, I got it with all of them. No way! These guys are even worse than the other guys. Who cares? Who cares? Who cares? I don't need friends. Oh my god. I've got knives! Woo! I got knives. I'm out of knives. But it doesn't matter. You can't hurt me and I can't hurt you. You'll be stuck fighting me forever, forever, forever! Wow, you are grooving, mister. Whoa, 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 whoa. What the heck is this? Ugh. Acid rain? Oh, forget it. I'm out of here. Oh. oh, it's you! I forget your name. But I love you. As soon as I came over, your friend immediately left. Oh, no. You guys looked like you were having fun. Oh, no. I just wanted to say hi. Oh, no. No, please! Well, I'm going to head home now. Oh, um, feel free to come with if you want. Thought I'd offer. I would love to. Hey, my house is up here. In case you want to see, or in case you don't. I do. So badly. I feel a calming tranquility and I'm filled with determination. Good to hear. So a bird wants to carry you across. Accept the bird's offer? Maybe later. I'm okay for now. You look very eager though, and I would like that about you. I want to I visit this one. It's locked. Drats. Well, what's to the right? You know what? No, I need to hang out with you. You deserve my time. This CD is labeled Spook Tunes. Play it. Let's, let's hear it.
Damn. Is this Jingle Bells? After a great meal, I like to run in the ground, lie on the ground and feel like garbage. Me too. It's family tradition. Do you want to join me? Yes! So badly! This is what I've been doing all week. Man, really wishing I picked any other song to play in the background. Here we go. You'll lie down as long as you don't move. So only move around when you want to get up, I guess. I'll lie with you. Okay, this has run its course. I'm done. I had a great time hanging out with my new friend today. I need to like put that in my diary. Dear diary, today I made a new best friend. It's a snail. For some reason, you can't help but wonder what it tastes like. That never crossed my mind. It is just living its damn life. Oh, you got a six dash. Snail race? Hell yeah. You wanna play a game? It's called Thunder Snail. Isn't that a DreamWorks movie? Let's run it. I'm gonna press the shit out of this button. Yeah! What happened? Are you okay? Do you need more encouragement? Are you nervous? Oh, it's on fire. Don't worry, I'll put it out with more encouragement. Oh, it's really on fire. Oh, it looks like you encouraged your snail too much. All that pressure to succeed really got to her. Oh. Oh, well there, I've got some neat junk for sale. Oh, I love you. And buy some items. Just might save your hide. Wahaha. <laughs> Don't threaten me. Ooh, more signs. I can read. Hurt, beaten, and fearful for our lives, we surrendered to the humans. Seven of the greatest magicians. Magicians? Mmm. The huge power equivalent to seven human souls attacks the barrier. It will be destroyed. Oh, that's foreboding. Is that why Toriel said, like, hey, heads up? Is the king guy, like, just waiting for kids to fall down here and then killing them and, like, keeping their souls. But what are they gonna do? What's the end game? If they break the barrier and go back up, the humans are just gonna be like, yo, what the hell? And then send them back down. Temmy! Special enemy Temmy appears here to defeat you. Her face is kind of migrating a little bit. Hoi! I'm Temmy! Whoa, 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 whoa! That was it. That was it. Just wanted to chat. Okay. Well, damn! I'm really low. I'm gonna die. Okay, Washua, clean me. Clean me. Green means clean. Ah! No, I need it. Okay. Thims, stay determined. What voice is that? I don't think I've heard that one yet. That's our first death. I should've just healed. I just realized I have like tasties in my pocket. Clean me. Okay, I need to hit the, I need to hit the green. I need to, ow. Ah! There we go. I had to take a hit. What in the Krungus? I'm gonna run into another thing that's gonna wipe my booty and kill me. It's not in this room. Y'all freaking played with me? Y'all toyed with, can I flee? No. I'm gonna die. Okay, uh, Washua, uh, clean me. La, la, la. Ah! I didn't mean to- Whatever, it's fine. So y'all are saying it's in Dash Mushroom Room. I'm gonna hit them all. I'm gonna hit them all and it's gonna reveal a secret path. I'm just gonna try all the cardinal directions. Oh, here we go. Wow! I hope this is worth all the trouble. Welcome to Tem Village! Hi, I'm Temmy! And this is my friend, Tammy. Hi, I'm Tammy. And this is my friend, Tammy. What a colorful cast of characters. Hi, I'm Tammy. Don't forget my friend. Hi, I'm Bob. You feel something. You're filled with determination. Determination. I'm filled with determination. I'm, I hate it. Hi, welcome to the Tem shop. I hate this place. Tem pay for college. I'm actually kind of close. You know what? I'll save up. I, I'm gonna make that a goal. I'm gonna save my I save up money. I'm gonna come back and I'm gonna pay for your college. I'm gonna do it. Tim, watch egg. Egg will hatch. Tim, proud parent. Every second I'm in this room, I feel like I'm getting stupider. Tim heard human allergics to Tim. That okay? Tim understand. Tim also allergic to Tim. Oh. Oh no. Oh, it's breaking out in hives. Hives! <laughs> mushroom man. Mushroom dance. Mushroom dance. Whatever could it mean? Oh. It symbolizes my inner torment. Trapped here by my hi-fi. My struggle to pull away. My struggle to escape. But alas, to no avail. I couldn't really get a good look at that dance. Can you do one more time for me? I, I, I'm sending you to college, Tem. Mark my goddamn words. You're going to like... Puffs or something nice. Uh, it's very dark. 
It's very dark. Look at the, the, the grass. Behind you. Well, end of the line. Seven. Seven human souls. With the power of seven human souls, our king, King Asgore Dreamer, will become a god. With that power, Asgore can finally shatter the barrier. He will finally take the surface back from humanity and give them back the suffering and pain that we have endured. Understand, human? This is your only chance at redemption. Give up your soul, or I'll tear it from your body. No! Oh my god. Nope. Ah! Oh. Oh, it's the freaking kid! I'm dying! I'll help you fight! Oh, uh, is this where he realizes? Yo, you did it! Undyne is right in front of you! You've got front row seats to her fight! Wait, who's she fighting? Hey! You aren't gonna tell my parents about this, are you? Oh my god, that dopey ass kid just saved my bacon. Bridge time, bridge time. Oh, is this about to be dino child betrayal arc? You're human, right? <laughs> Man, I knew it. Well, I know it now. I mean, Undyne told me, uh, stay away from that human. So, like, um, guess that makes us enemies or something. But I kind of stink at that. Uh, yo, is this something mean so I can hate you? Please? No. Yo, what? So I have to do it? Here goes nothing. Yo, I, I hate your guts. Man, I, I'm such a turd. I'm, I'm gonna go home now. Ah. I had a great time hanging out with you. Oh, oh, oh God. Wait, help, I'm tripped. I'll help, I'll help. Ah, ah, I got gotcha. you. I got gotcha. you. Stick up for me. Yo, dude, if, if you want to hurt my friend, you're going to have to get through me first. Oh, she's backing off. She's backing off. Yo, you really saved my skin. Guess being enemies is just a nice thought, huh? We'll just have to be friends instead. Oh, damn. Seven. Seven human souls. Yeah, we've we've been over this. We've been over this. I've gotten the Cliffs notes. Six. That's how many we have collected thus far. That, those numbers, those are not good optics for me. I shall tell you the tragic tale of our people. It all started long ago. I feel like I've heard it already. Mm. No, you know what? Screw it. Why should I tell that story when you're about to die? Yeah! That was stupid dramatic. Whoa. You! Wow, you have a- Wow, that is a dopey looking face. You're standing in the way of everybody's hopes and dreams. Alphys' history books made me think humans were cool. With their giant robots and flowery swordsmen. It sounds like anime. But you? You're just a coward. Oh, is that what the anime disc was? Do the- Oh my god, do the monsters watch anime and think it's like- Historical documentation? That is incredible. I've seen the way you perform alchemy and make best friends. Hiding behind that kid so you could run away from me again. And let's not forget your wimpy goody two-shoes stick. Oh, I'm making such a difference by hugging random strangers. You know it would be more vulnerable? Nope. You know it would be more valuable to everyone? If you are dead! That's right, human. Your continued existence is a crime. Your life is all that stands between us and our freedom. Right now, I can feel everyone's hearts pounding together. Everyone's been waiting their whole lives for this moment. Yeah, I can tell that you've only ever watched anime. But we're not nervous at all. When everyone puts their hearts together, they can't lose. And apparently High School Musical. Now, human, let's end this right here, right now. I'll show you how determined monsters can be. Step forward when you're ready. Foo! Can I heal? No more running away. Here I come. Oh my god! Okay, sorry. That actually, that was, I was not expecting you to fly into frame. On guard, I'm green. I am green now. Undyne attacks. You tell Undyne her attacks are too easy. The bullets get faster. Okay. As long as you're green, you can't escape. Unless you learn to face danger head on. You won't last a second against me. What? Oh. Oh, I like this. And now sunlight is just within our reach. She looks like it. Ah! Oh my god. Ah, enough warming up. I'm actually kind of. Ah! Oh, right now. Do I keep challenging? 
Ugh, nah, it's just a care anymore. Yeah, I probably just have to keep hitting spare like I did with the other ones. It seems like with boss fights, the technique is just a spare, spare, spare. So then you just want to be friends. She remembers someone. Her attacks become a little less extreme. Oh, who's she remembering? Maybe Papyrus. Papyrus is a very goody, goody, goody kind of guy. Ah okay, we keep pleading. I told you you undone, you didn't want to fight, but nothing happened. Stop being so damn resilient. What the hell are humans made out of? A hundred percent. G sick vibes and radical skateboard tricks. You else would be dead by now. But not me. I watched Yu-Gi-Oh. Elvis told me humans were determined. Hell yeah. What the hell? That's not fair. What are we cheating? Oh my god. Undyne thinks of her friends and pounds the ground with her fists. Bah! I don't want to break my stream. I shouldn't do that. <laughs> okay. Why on God's name? Okay. Ah! Try again next week, sister. I'm a Postmates driver. You'll never escape from me in red. Okay. Uh, yeah, I need to fully. Damn it. This is like the freaking bug snacks thing where they had to physically tell me like, hey, for shit's sake. Oh, no, it was Breath of the Wild. It was the last stream of Breath of the Wild. I was stuck on the, this part of the final boss. And she had to be like, use the updraft link. God damn. Open it. There it is. What the hell? I have no idea what I'm supposed to be doing right now. Oh. <laughs> they had to tell me. Use the updraft! For God's sake! What the fuck, Link? Okay, I need to leave. Wow, I'm embarrassed. Escaped. Okay. Ah! Ah! Oh, I have to run from her? This is, a, this is hilarious. I love this dynamic. Stop running away! Peace. <laughs> Welcome to hot land. Hot land. I'm getting a phone call. It's my friend. Hey, what's up? I was just thinking you, me, and Undyne should all hang out sometime. I think you'd make great pals. Let's meet up at her house later. Sounds great, man. I would actually love to. Come back here, you little punk. No. Why don't I just keep running from her? Is this the rest of the video? Help me! Help me! Ah! Help me! Ah! Oh. Oh. Okay. Is she getting tired? Armor is so hot. But I can't give up. You're doing so good. Okay. It's a water cooler. Take a cup of water. Absolutely. Take a cup of water. Give Undyne the water? Of course. There you go. Is she gonna, like, spring up? Yep. Good morning. Oh. Are you confused? Okay, see you around. Well, I want to go hang out with Papyrus. I want to go hang out with my friend. Oh ho! The human arrives. Wow, you love that sentence, mister. Are you ready to hang out with Undyne? I have a plan to make you two great friends. Will you hang out? Absolutely. Okay, stand behind me. Is that she loves these? This is a bone. Oh. Whoa. Hi, Papyrus. Ready for your extra private one-on-one -on -one training? You bet I am. And I brought a friend. Uh-oh. Hi, I don't think we've... Why don't you two come in? Oh, look at how excited he is. <laughs> Here, Undyne. My friend brought a gift for you on their own. Uh, thanks. I'll, um, I'll put it with the others. <laughs> Good lord. Whoopsie doopsie, I just remembered. I have to go to the bathroom. You two have fun. <laughs> Damn, that's a 10. That's a perfect 10. Did you see that? That was incredible. This is form on that. So why are you here? To rub your victory in my face? To humiliate me even further? Is that it? No. Then why are you here? I want to be friends with you. You think I'm going to be friends with you, huh? Right? Yes. Really? How delightful. I accept. Let's all frolic in the fields of friendship. Not. Why would I ever be friends with you? You're the enemy of everyone's hopes and dreams. I will never be your friend. Now get out of my house. Oh, hello. Dang, what a shame. I thought Undyne could be friends with you. But I guess I overestimated her. She's just not up to the challenge. Ooh, damn. Papyrus is kind of, you know what? As doofy as he is. He's a bit of a strategic genius, because that, that is a that is a clutch play. What a joke. I can make friends with a wimpy loser like you any day. I'll show him. This is not human. We're not just going to be friends. We're going to be besties. 
I'll make you like me so much, you won't be able to think of anyone else. It's the perfect revenge. Okay. I mean, whatever works. Is, are we... Can't believe he left through the window like that. Normally, he nails the landing. Uh, did he not? Humans suck, but their history kind of rules. Case in point, this giant sword. Historically, humans wielded swords up to 10 times their size. Oh my god, she does use anime for historical documentation. Right? Uh-huh. <laughs> I knew it. When I first heard that, I immediately wanted one. So me and Alphys built a giant sword together. She figured out all the specs herself. She's smart, huh? Totally. I like your little fish doily. It's very nice. I'll sit down. I'll get you something to drink. Wow. That's very sweet of you. Wow, look at all these options. What would you like? Uh, let me- Oh! Hey, don't get up! You're the guest. Sit down and enjoy yourself. Um, why not just point to what you want? You can use the spear. <laughs> okay. Tea box. Blatantly correct choice. Oh, some tasty tea. Hot chocolate. Green cylinder. Looks pretty blue to me. Uh, we'll go with the tea box. Tea, huh? Coming right up. It'll take a moment for the water to boil. So, you into, you into crypto? Oh, okay. Looks like it's boiling. Nothing but the best for my absolutely precious friend. Man, I love this dynamic. It's kind of strange you chose that tea. Golden flower tea. That's Asgore's favorite kind. Actually, now that I think about it, you kind of remind me of him. You're both total weenies. Sort of. You know, I was a pretty hot-headed kid. Once, to prove I was the strongest, I tried to fight Asgore. Emphasis on tried. Couldn't land a single blow on him. And worse, the whole time he refused to fight back. I was so humiliated. Afterwards, he apologized and said something goofy. Excuse me, do you want to know how to beat me? I said yes, and from then on, he trained me. One day, during practice, I finally knocked him down. I felt bad. But he was beaming. I had never seen someone more proud to get their butt kicked. Anyway, long story short, he kept training me. And now I'm the head of the Royal Guard. So I'm the one who gets to train dorks to fight. But, uh, to be honest, I don't know if I can ever let Papyrus into the Royal Guard. Don't tell him I said that. He's just, well, I mean, it's not that he's weak. He's actually pretty freaking tough. It's just that he's, he's too innocent and nice. He was supposed to capture you. He ended up being friends with you instead. That's what we're doing right now. I could never send him in a battle. He'd get ripped in a little smiling shreds. That's part of why I started teaching him how to cook, you know? So, uh, maybe he can do something else with his life. Well, that's sweet. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Wait a second. Papyrus. His cooking lesson. He was supposed to have that right now! And if he's not here to have it, you'll have to have it for him! Oh my god. Whoa. Oh my god. That's right. Nothing has brought Papyrus and I closer than cooking. Which means that if I give you his lesson, we'll become closer than you could ever imagine. What is with everyone in the underground and trying to, like, optimize any percent friendship? Oh, afraid? We're gonna be best friends. Oh, I'm so pumped. Okay. Yeah, that's my hair. Let's start with the sauce. Bang! I'm assuming we're gonna be making spaghetti. Why are we putting nanners and carrots in there? Envision these vegetables as your greatest enemy. Now, pound them to dust with your fists. How will you pound? I will pound strong. You punch the vegetables at full force. You knock over a tomato. Yeah, yeah! Our hearts are uniting against these healthy ingredients. Now it's my turn. Yeah! Oh my god. Uh, we'll just scrape this into a bowl later. But for now... Ugh. Oh. We add the noodles. Homemade noodles are the best, but I just buy store brand. They're the cheapest. Yeah! I uh, just put them in the pot. How oh, you put them in? Fiercely. You throw everything into the pot as hard as you can, including the box. Clanks against the empty bottom. Yeah, I'm into it. All right, now it's time to stir the pasta. As a general rule of thumb, the more you stir, the better it is. Ready? Let's do it. Stir the pasta! Oh my god, I'm, this is on my left hand, that's my weak hand, so I can't stir that hard. Harder, I'm trying! Harder! Ah, I'm stirring! Ugh, let me do it. Oh my god. Oh my god. It looks great. Let the stovetop symbolize your passion. Let your hopes and dreams turn into burning fire. Don't hold anything back. 
Oh, I'm turning it up. Oh my god, it's just rotating. Hunter! Hunter, turn it! Oh my god. Hunter! Wait, that's too... Yeah, I, f I feel like... We, n we never put the water in. We're just lighting dry pasta on fire. Yeah, okay. Ah. Man, no wonder papaya sucks at cooking. So what's next? Scrapbooking? Friendship bracelets? Oh, who am I kidding? I really screwed this up, didn't I? I can't force you to like me, human. Some people just don't get along with each other. I understand if you feel that way about me. And if we can't be friends, that's okay. Because if we're not friends, it means I can destroy you without regret. Oh my god. I've been defeated. My house is in shambles. I haven't failed to befriend you. This is an absolute roller coaster. Now come on, hit me with all you got. Yeah! Okay, uh, I'll fake attack. Just pretend to swing it on them with all your might. Boop. What? That's the best you can manage? Even attacking at full force, you just can't muster any intent to hurt me, huh? <laughs> you know what? Okay. I don't actually want to hurt you either. The way you hit me right now, it reminded me of someone I used to train with. Now, I know you aren't just some wimpy loser. You're a wimpy loser with a big heart. Just like him. Who, Asgore? Listen, human, it seems that you and Asgore are fated to fight. But knowing him, he probably doesn't want to. Talk to him. I'm sure you can persuade him to let you go home. Eventually, some mean human will fall down here, and I'll take their soul instead. That makes sense, right? Yeah, I like it. And if you do hurt Asgore, I'll take the human souls, cross the barrier, and beat the hell out of you. That's what friends are for, right? Now let's get the hell out of this flaming house. Well, that was fun, huh? We'll have to hang out again another time. Oh, her house is crying. I'm sorry. All right, let's get back to progression now. That was good fun. Whoa. Whoa, lab. I'm the star of the show. Oh my god, literally, I am the star of the show. Look at me. It's me. It's you. It's me. Who are you? What are you, dinos dinosaur? Oh, it's so bright. Oh, so bright. Oh, oh, my God. I didn't expect you to show up so soon. I haven't showered. I'm barely dressed. It's all messy and, um, hiya. I'm Dr. Alphys. I'm Asgore's royal scientist, but uh, I'm not one of the bad guys. Actually, since you stepped out of the ruins, I've, um, been observing your journey through my console, your fights, your friendships, everything. I was originally going to stop you, but watching someone on a screen really makes you root for them. So, uh, now I want to help you. Using my knowledge, I can easily guide you through Hotland. I know a way right to Azagor's castle, no problem. Well, actually, um, there's just a tiny issue. A long time ago, I made a robot named Metaton. Originally, I built him to be an entertainment robot. Uh, you know, like a robotic TV star or something. Anyway, recently I decided to make him more useful. You know, just some small practical adjustments. Like, uh, anti- anti-human combat features? Of course, when I saw you coming, I immediately decided I have to remove those features. Unfortunately, I may have made a teensy mistake while doing so, and, uh, now he's an unstoppable killing machine with a thirst for human blood? <laughs> uh, but, uh, hopefully he won't- we won't run into him. I have bad news. Oh no, what have you done? Oh no. Oh! Oh yes! Welcome, beauties. Oh, it's one of those people. Welcome, beauties. Oh, to today's quiz show. Yay! Oh, boy. I can already tell it's going to be a great show. Everyone give a big hand for our wonderful contestant. Yay! There's only one rule. Answer correctly. Or you die. Oh, it's trivia. I'm not very good at that. Let's start with an easy one. What's the prize for answering correctly? More questions. <laughs> right, sounds like you get it. His metal body renders him invulnerable to attack. Use your terrific prize. What's the king's full name? Asgore Dreamer. Yes, correct. What a terrific answer. 
Oh my god, I'm having so much fun. What are robots made of? Hopes and dreams, metal and magic, snips and snails, sugar and spice. Metal and magic. I'm incredible at this. Here's another easy one for you. Oh, shit. Okay, station A and station B are 252.5 miles apart from each other. I've got 18 seconds. Less than that. Uh, shit. How many flies are in this jar? Mmm. Well, obviously... 54. Hey, I see, I knew it. What monster is this? That's a uh, froggit. Okay. <laughs> Would you smooch a ghost? Heck yeah. How many letters in the name Metaton? Oh, shit. What is Alpha's? Oh, is she showing me the answer? Is she saying C? That's really funny. I actually love that. In the dating simulation video game, Mew Mew Kissy Cutie. Oh, 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 I know this one. It's it's snail ice cream. In the fourth chapter, everyone goes to the beach and she buys ice cream for all her friends, but it's snail flavor and she's the one who wants it. It's one of my favorite parts of the game because it's actually a very powerful message about friendship. And... Alphys, Alphys, Alphys. You aren't helping our contestant, are you? Ooh, you should have told me. I'll ask a question you'll be sure to know the answer to. Who does Dr. Alphys have a crush on? Mmm. She was blushing. There's no time limit. I can't say don't know because I think it's between... It's gotta be the human, right? She blushed so many times. Seriously? My, my. How conceited can you get? I love it. Was I wrong? Because she looks... She doesn't look embarrassed. She just looks angry. And while you... Yeah, I am wrong. Okay. Is it Undyne? That would be a power couple. With Dr. Alphys helping you, the show has no dramatic tension. We can't go on like this. But, but, this was just the pilot episode. Next up, more drama, more romance, more bloodshed. Until next time, darlings. All right. It's been an absolute joy. Where did you get that phone? It's ancient. Doesn't even have texting. Wait a second, please. Okay. Oh my, who was screaming? Did you insert a child into the cell phone? Is that where Siri comes from? It can do texting items. It's got a keychain. I even signed you up for the Underground's number one social network. Now we're officially friends. <laughs> I'm gonna go to the bathroom. Okay, take a package of noodles. Yeah, okay. Got the instant noodles. Nice. Letters from many monsters here. Froggit, Snowy, Doggo. They're all unopened. Why? You should... Are you socially anxious? So many people want to talk to you. Bye-bye. Oh! Alpha's updated status. Just realized I didn't watch Endai to fight the human. Okay. Is this gonna be... Oh my god. Well, I know she's unbeatable. I'll ask you about it later. Oh, it's totally Undyne that she has a crush on. Ma'am, do you have... Nothing else to do with your time. Vulcan strolls in. I'm low on health. I hope I can heal somewhere soon. I'm gonna encourage you. you tell Vulcan is doing a great job. His attacks become extreme. Ha! Ah, ah, ha! Does my best. Ah, you do so good. I'm gonna die. There better be a heal point up here. Alphys, for the love of God, Sunderplane <laughs> gets in the way, not on purpose or anything. That is really funny. It's Tundra Plane. He's a Tundra or whatever it's called. Hell yeah. I don't know what that is referring to at all. Oh, it's Sundara. <laughs> Sundara plane shakes its nose dismissively at you. Oh, now I can spare you. I just had to like, be subtle. Oh, a frying pan. Hell yeah. It's a frying pan laying on the ground. When you take it, absolutely. Consumable items heal four more HP. Oh, that's good. Oh, gee, I've had my claw over the last digit for five minutes. Oh, but gee, I'm just gonna do it. I'm just gonna call. Whenever you're ready. Okay, thank you. Click. Whoever was calling coming up before you answered it. Jesus Christ. Uh, hi. So, the blue lasers, uh, I mean, the alpha's here. Hi. The blue lasers won't hurt you if you don't move. Orange ones, uh, you have to be moving and, and they, um, they won't, uh, move through those ones. Uh, bye. Clouds haven't shook like that since Undyne called me to ask about the weather. Ooh. I'll rip you apart with my hands. Oh my god. Oh my god, maybe you guys have a crush on each other. Oh, for shit's sake. Ah! Shoot the opposing ship. Move the boxes to complete your mission. Hi, mister. Whoa. The door leading through the area is closed, so I tried to puzzle. 
But I kept running out of ammo and it kept restarting. My two co-workers won't help. It's like they don't even want to go to work. Oh, I have two bullets. Bravo. As the royal scientist, I have some tricks up my sleeve. I'll hack into the, the Hotland laser database. Take it out. Okay. All right. Okay. Uh, uh, st st oh my God. Stop. Stop. Ooh, what is this? I love the flooring. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Hey, it's kind of dark in there, isn't it? No worry. I'll hack into the light system and brighten it up. It's a kitchen. Oh, no. Oh, is it? <gasps> oh, yes. Welcome, beauties, to the Underground's premiere cooking show. Cooking with a killer robot. Oh, I love it. We're going to be making a cake. My lovely assistant here will gather the ingredients. Everyone give them a big hand. It's, wow, it's like three people. We'll need sugar, milk, and eggs. Go for it, sweetheart. Um, I got him. Perfect, great job, beautiful. We've got all the ingredients we need to bake the cake. Milk, sugar, eggs. Oh my, wait a magnificent moment. How could I forget? You need flour and baking soda. I'm missing the most important ingredient, flour. Mm. A human soul. Oh my God. Oh my God. Sorry, I'm getting a call. Wait a, wait a second. Could you just make a, could you use a, can you make a substitution in the recipe? A substitution? You mean use a different non-human ingredient? Why? Uh, what if someone's vegan? Vegan? Uh, well, that's a brilliant idea, Alphys. Actually, I happen to have an option right here. MTT brand always convenient human soul flavor substitute. A can of which is just over on that counter. Hell yeah! La -da 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 -da, la -da -da -da. Oh wow, you even lowered it for convenience. Mmm, okay. You can't get the can in the next one minute. We'll just have to go back to the original plan. So better start climbing, beautiful. Okay. Oh. Oh no. There's not enough time to climb up. You see that huge button that says jetpack? Watch this. It's my phone. Whoa. Whoa! If you're making a cake with sugar, milk, and eggs, that is gonna be one dense, wet, sad cake. Oh my god, that was not avoidable. I made it! Seems you've bested me, but only because you had the help of the brilliant Dr. Alphys. Oh, I love to think what you would have happened to you without her. Well, toodles! Well, uh, anyway, let's keep heading forward. Please lose my number. No, it's, it's like Flambo from Adventure Time. Heh, I'm Heats Flamesman. Remember my name! I've got it. Heats Flamesman. I'll remember it. Oh, you got a hot dog! Toasty bun. Want to buy a hot dog? It's only 30 G. I'm sorry. I've, I've got really tight. My, my purse strings are tight right now. I'm saving up for Temmie's college. Yeah, you got to save your money for college. How did you know? Napster Blue has sent you a friend request. Wow. Napster Blue 22? 22 is my favorite number. A lot of my usernames end with 22. This is like my soulmate. Accept a request? Of course. Seems to have already rejected itself. No! Armor's defense 11. Heals 1 HP every other turn. Uh, yes, please. This puzzle's kind of uh, timing based. See those switches over there? You'll have to press all of them within three seconds. I'll try to help you with the rhythm. One, two, three. Okay, now press the third one. Hey, looks like you only needed to press two of them. Thank you as always. A microwave. It's a piece of cheese inside this computerized laser safe. The lasers have melted the edges of the cheese stuck to the table. Oh, the mouse. Knowing the mouse might one day hack into the computerized safe and get the cheese. Feels your determination. I know you can do it, mouse. Hey, you. Stop. Oh, it's the guards. We've, like, received an anonymous tip about a human wearing a striped shirt. They told us they were wandering around Hotland right now. I know, sounds scary, huh? Well, just stay chill. 
We'll bring you someplace safe, okay? Oh. Huh? What is it, bro? The shirt they're wearing. Like, what about it? Uh-oh. Bro. Are you thinking what I'm thinking? Bummer. This is, like, mega embarrassing. We, like, actually totally have to kill you and stuff. Damn it! Okay, I can be friends. Tell RG1 to be honest with his feelings. Like, what? I don't get it. We gotta clean your armor. Oh, I cleaned his armor. He's clean Royal Guard 2's armor. It's cooling dirt. It begins to wash away. Getting warmer. Uh, uh. Oh, I have to. Oh, it's heating up. Eh, eh. Can't take it. Armor too hot. Oh, yeah, take it off. Much better. Oh, the guy is sweating. <gasps> oh my god. Looks bothered by something. Be honest with your feelings. You got the hots for your best friend. I'm gonna whisper to you. Shoot your shot. I can't take this anymore. Not like this. Like, too. I like... I like, like you, bro. The way you fight. The way you talk. I love doing team attacks with you. I love standing here with you. Bouncing and waving our weapons in sync. Uh oh. Uh. I mean, uh. Psych! Gotcha, bro! Haha. <laughs> One. Y yeah, bro? Do you wanna. get some ice cream? After this? Sure, dude! Haha. <laughs> One and two are looking at each other happily. Well, look at that. Oh, it's dark. Ooh, it's dark. Oh, yeah, please enlighten me. God. <laughs> okay, I'm back. My hacking skills have got things covered. Oh, shit. Are you serious? Oh, yes. Good evening, beauties and gentle beauties. This is Metaton reporting live from MTT News. An interesting situation has arisen in Eastern Hotland. Fortunately, our correspondent is out there reporting live. Brave correspondent, please find something newsworthy to report. Our ten wonderful viewers are waiting for you. Um... How about this glass of water? Oh my! It's a completely nondescript glass of water. But anything can make a great story with enough spin. What if I spin it? I'll report it. Attention viewers! Our correspondent has found a glass of water! But what's astonishing about this glass of water is how uninteresting it is. Like all glasses of water, it's comprised of water, glass, nitroglycerin. Nitroglycerin? Wait a second. That's not a glass of water. That's a bomb! <gasps> oh no! This news report is turning into a disaster report. But don't panic. You haven't even seen the rest of the room yet. Whoa. It's a basketball. It's a book. Doggy. A present. Uh, just like a, just a bunch of dynamite. Oh my! Seems everything in this area is actually a bomb! That dog's a bomb! That basketball's a bomb! Even my words are- Oh my god. Oh no! Brave correspondent! If you don't defuse all the bombs... This big bomb will blow you into smithereens in two minutes. Looks like a five to me. Our nine viewers are going to love watching the- Oh, you lost one. Don't worry! I installed a bomb diffusing program on your phone. Use the diffuse option when the bomb is in the diffuse zone. Now go get him. Alphys, why are you so conveniently in the middle of everything all the time? Diffuse the dog. Diffuse. Yeah! I diffuse the dog. Great job! Shut up! Basketball! Bang! La la! Ah! Aww. I missed the, the glass of water is gonna be tough. Come back here! Ha! Extremely agile glass of water. Shit. Ha! I okay. Ah! Wha! I hit it. Well done, darling. You've deactivated all the bombs. If you didn't deactivate them, the big bomb would have exploded in two minutes. Now it won't explode in two minutes. Instead, it'll explode in two seconds. Goodbye, darling. Is this it? Is this heaven? Oh. Uh oh. Seems the bomb isn't going off. Oh, what happened? That's because while you were monologuing, I, I fix, um, I change. Oh no, you deactivated the bomb with your hacking skills. Yeah, that's what I did. 
curses. It seems I've been foiled again. Curse you, human. Curse you, Dr. Alphys, for helping so much. But I don't curse my eight wonderful viewers for tuning in. Until next time, darling. We really showed him, huh? That felt scripted. Alphys, what is going on? I have, you know what? Is Alphys trying to self-insert fanfic her way into my life right now? So no worrying, okay? Just forget about it and smile. Look at that smile. All right. Whoa, I like that. That's cute. Oh, are you spider? Welcome to our parlor, dearie. Interested in some spider pastries? All proceeds go to real spiders. Sure. Buy a spider donut for... Yeah, unfortunately. Cannot pony up. Yeah, cannot do that. I can afford Temps College. Wow, yeah, you look just absolutely dumbfounded by that donut. Yeah, uh-huh. Yeah, all right. Sure, I'll watch your shit. Oh my god. Oh my god. How am I not supposed to skip this dialogue? I'm bored out of my mind of talking to you, Alphys. Don't like that. Is this a spider area? I don't like spiders. Well, this game probably has cute looking spiders. Yeah, those are cute spiders. I can deal with those. Bye bye. Ooh. <laughs> did you hear what they just said? What did they say? The spiders? They said a human wearing a striped shirt will come through. Ooh. I heard that they hate spiders. I heard that they love to stomp on them. No, I don't. I don't love to stomp on spiders. I catch and release. I heard they like to tear their legs off. Oh my god. Yeah, Jesus Christ. No, that, that ain't me. If you do that, you are an actual psychopath. You think your taste is too refined for our pastries, don't you, dearie? Oh, I disagree with that notion. I did buy it. I bought a bagel or whatever. I think your taste is exactly what this next batch needs. Uh-oh. It's Muffet. Don't look so blue, my dearie. Ah! Well, what in tarnation? Oh. Oh! Now I'm on strings. I think purple is a much better look on you. Up next, spider. Ba ba da ba, make a delicious cake. I've already got one. <laughs> this is this is cute. I'm having a good time. Up next, two spiders. Up next, parachute. Is it a little parachute or is it a muffin? Oh how rude of me! I almost forgot to introduce you to my pet. Now I look like an idiot in front of all my friends. Ah! Oh, it is. Oh, it's a little muffin spider. That's cute. Okay, this is less cute. I don't like this. Oh god, it's like a frogger. Oh, I got hit. Oh, sh shiz. Whoa, croissant! You can't be throwing croissants in here. Strange, but I swore I saw them in the shadows changing shape. Who the hell could that be? Am I supposed to be doing something? Is it, am I like, is it gonna be like the Undyne fight where I have to like think outside the box or whatever? 38.8. Defense, 18.8. Why? With all the leftovers, we'd have a nice vacation. Rainbow Spider Baseball Field. I'd watch. Wow, I'm just like hanging out on the left edge. Ah, I should have hung out on the left edge for some more time. Can I stop? Oh, maybe I did it. You're still alive? Oh, my pet looks like it's time for dessert. <gasps> a telegram? Oh my god, that's literally exactly, huh, a telegram from the spiders in the ruins. What? They're saying that they saw you and you helped donate to their cause. Oh my, this has all been a big misunderstanding. I thought you were someone that hated spiders. The person who asked for that soul, they must have meant a different human in a striped shirt. Is there another human down here? <gasps> oh my god, maybe I'm gonna, maybe that'll be like the final fight. I'll spare you now. Ah, good. Oh, so what would have happened? Would I have, would that have been a harder fight if I hadn't bought that spider donut back there or whatever? Oh, that human. Oh my god, is it you? <laughs> Could it be? My one true love! Ugh, I never got to be in my high school plays. This is- this is a big full circle moment for you guys. I'm getting a little emotional. <gasps> He's singing to me! Try not to cry challenge. <gasps> Cherry blossoms. It'll suck. And then you'll die a lot. Yes, I will. Really sad. You're gonna die. Cry, cry, cry. So sad it's happening. I mean, you could probably prevent it. So sad. So sad that you were going to the dungeon. Well, toodles!
Uh, oh no, whatever shall I do? My love has been cast away into the dungeon. A dungeon with a puzzle so dastardly, my paramour will surely perish. Oh, it's this shit. Oh, heavens have mercy, the horrible colored tile maze. Each colored tile has its own sadistic function. For example, a green tile sounds a noise and then you must fight a monster. Red tiles will actually wait a second. Didn't we see this puzzle about a hundred rooms ago? That's right, you remember all the rules, don't you? Great, then I won't waste your time repeating them. Good luck, darling. Ugh, the incredibly slow conveyor belt. Eh. Yeah! Wait, they like, they like lemon, so maybe I can soap and then pass through. Wait, I got orange on me. I'm orange scented. Now I can go through the, okay, I did great. Here come the flames, darling. They're closing in. Getting closer, oh my. Any minute now. What's happening? What is, what is happening? <clears throat> I was about to say, is he waiting for his cue from Alphys? Watch out, I'll save you. I'm hacking into the firewall right now. Oh no, how could this happen? Foiled again by the brilliant Dr. Alphys. Alphys, did you code Metaton? You'll never be able to defeat us, not as long as we work together. This is probably the saddest thing I've ever seen. Did you forget what the green tiles do? They make a sound and then you have to fight a monster. Well, darling, that monster is me. <gasps> oh my God. Oh, I took off his dress. I'm, I'm gonna yell. Ah! Nothing happened. Hey, this seems bad, but don't worry. There's one last thing I saw on your phone. So a yellow button, go to this phone's act menu, press it. Yellow. Press the yellow button. The phone is resonating with Metaton's presence. Oh, that yellow glow. <gasps> oh. Now press Z. Oh, it's a blaster. Pew, 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 pew. Pew, pew, pew. Oh, oh, you've defeated me. How could this be? You were stronger than I thought, etc. Whatever. Before I met you, I didn't really... I didn't really like myself very much. For a long time, I felt like a total screw up. I couldn't do anything without without ending up letting everyone down. So I impeded your progress, hacked your phone, and interrupted you constantly. See, this is great and all, and I'm sorry to hear that you didn't like yourself, that you had self-loathing tendencies, and that you just wanted to help. And I'm glad that this is good for you, but you can't thrust yourself into this role without someone else's consent and then be like, oh, it's fine though, because I was like depressed. It's like, well, not really. This is still a really gross dynamic. Hey, hey, do you remember my name? Yes, I did. Well, you remember? I'm gonna be so easily defeated. Look at that face. Oh, it's Sans. Wait, I need to read this piece of paper first. Hey, go up the creepy alleyway on the right for some great deals. I love deals. Oh my god. Hey, check it out. Yeah, check it out. Wow. A mystery key. Bride of someone's house, lol. Oh. Hmm. I wonder if that's the key to that house next to Napster Blue. I'm tempted. Nah, I gotta save up for college, man. How about grabbing some dinner with me first? Yeah. Great. Thanks for treating me. Uh, I have... Okay. Well, I'm kind of saving for college, but... Some of Sentry and Snowden Forest, right? I sit out there and watch for humans. It's kind of boring. Fortunately, deep in the forest, there's this huge locked door. And it's perfect for practicing knock-knock jokes. Jokes. Goddamn. So one day, I'm knocking them out, like usual. Knock on the door and say, knock-knock. And suddenly, from the other side, I hear a woman's voice. Who is there? Oh, is that Toriel? Who is there? I can't remember the voice I gave her. She's the best audience I've ever had. Then, after a dozen of them, she knocks and says, Knock, knock. I say, who's there? Old lady. Old lady who? Oh, I did not know you could yodel. Wow. Needless to say, this woman was extremely good. <laughs> That's funny. It's a thing now. Telling bad jokes through the door. It rules. Then she told me something strange. If a human ever comes through this door, could you please, please promise something? Watch over them and protect them, will you not? Now, I hate making promises. This woman, I don't even know her name. But someone who sincerely likes bad jokes has an integrity you can't say no to. You know what would have happened if she hadn't said anything. Uh-oh. Buddy. You would have killed me, right? Mmm. Hmm. 
So, appetizers? Hey, lighten up, bucko. I'm just joking with you. Besides, haven't I done a great job protecting you? I mean, look at yourself. You haven't died a single time. Hey, what's that look supposed to mean? Am I wrong? No. Oh, damn. I, sh I wish I got this far without dying. I've only died freaking once. The relaxing atmosphere of this hotel. It fills you with determination. You look like you have a couple screws loose, pal. I don't... I don't know how I feel about any of this. Uh, can I sell? Oh, why is this person trying to sell me something? This is a hamburger restaurant. I'm just trying to survive. Yeah, that's fair. That's absolutely fair. Okay. Well, I'm not. Oh my God. Have a sparkular day. You have your mood swings could put playgrounds to shame. I'm going to leave. Oh, the core. That's where I need to go. Oh, what a pretty balcony. Okay. Pickles. Pickle men. Ready? This is it. Take the elevator up to the top of the core. Okay. Elevator isn't working. What? The elevator should be working. Oh, you are we going off script, Alphys? Well then, go to the right and keep heading up. Okay. Uh, it's a bunch of fire. Alright, now just keep heading up. That pit isn't on my map. Forget it. Let's try the left side. Oh no. Your script, Alphys. Okay, you should be able to make it through here. <gasps> Pickles! Please and thank you. Well, at least it's very polite. They'll cover this order. Orange, orange, blue. Got it? Move until the third one. Ah! You were wrong, and it didn't matter. My reaction speed is just that good. <gasps> oh my god, are you okay? I, I'm sorry, I gave you the wrong order. Everything's fine, okay? Let's just keep heading to the right. Try heading to the right. No. Oh, whoa, it's night night. Are you okay? Why didn't you head to the right? Come on, you trust me, don't you? No. I got it. Stop. I got it. I got it. I'll just deactivate the lasers and let you through. They're, they're not turning off. I can't turn them off. I, it's okay. I have this under control. I'm going to turn off the power for that whole node. Then you can walk across. Oh, okay, go. Whee! Oh. Wait, stop! Oh my god. The power, it's turning itself back on. Damn it, this is supposed to... I... I'm gonna turn it off again. When it turns off, move a little and then stop. Okay? You won't get hurt. Wee. 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 Woo! I did it. Okay, you should... You should... I don't know. This doesn't look like my map at all. I'm sorry. I I have to go. Okay. Whims a lot and final frog it. Whoa, it's a boss frog it. I am going to pray. You kneel and pray for safety. Whims a lot remembers it's conscious. There's still hope. Thanks. Whims a lot doesn't want to fight anymore. Well, what about. Yeah, I'll go ahead and spare. I'm going to mystify you. You did something mysterious. Final Froggit recognizes it has more to learn from this world. Thoughtful croak. Ah! Final Froggit seems reluctant to fight you. Amazing. Oh my god, there's so many. Let's... Let's pray. What's up, guys? Welcome back to my Let's Pray. <laughs> okay, wait. Wow, what a pretty bridge. Okay. I'm filled with determination. Core end. Oh, am I gonna finally actually fight you freaking for real? Instead of just hop, skipping, and jumping all over the place? Alpha's like, I'll save you with my computer phone. Drop the phone! Okay, it's time to finally stop the malfunctioning robot. Malfunctioning in quotes. Not malfunction, reprogramming, get real. This was all just a big show, an act. Alphys has been playing you for a fool the whole time. Wow, shocking. As she watched you on the screen, she grew attached to your adventure. She desperately wanted to be a part of it. So she decided to insert herself into your, s it, it's literally a self insert into your story. She reactivated puzzles. She disabled elevators. She enlisted me to torment you. Also, she could save you from dangers that didn't exist. Also, you wouldn't think she's a great person. That she's not. And now it's time for her finest hour. At this very moment, Alphys is waiting outside the room. During our battle, she will interrupt. She will pretend to deactivate me, saving you one final time. Finally, she'll be the heroine of your adventure. 
You'll regard her so highly, she'll even be able... Nope, she'll even be able to convince you not to leave. You see, I've had enough of this predictable charade. I have no desire to harm humans. Far from it, actually. My only desire is to entertain. After all, the audience deserves a good show, don't they? And what's a good show without a plot twist? Oh. Door shut. Hey, what's going on? The door just locked itself. Sorry, folks. The old program's been canceled. But we've got a finale that'll drive you wild. Oh, my God. <gasps> real drama, real action, real bloodshed on our new show, Attack of the Killer Robot. Metaton attacks. Yes, I was the one who rearranged the core. I was the one that hired everyone to kill you. That, however, was a short-sighted plan. Oh, was, was, how did you change shape? All right, were you the one who like, was like, ah, spider, kill the spider. But how did you change shape? You know it would be a hundred times better? Killing you myself. Eh. Yeah, 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 yeah. That worthless pea shooter won't work on me, darling. Don't you understand what acting is? Oh, that's fair. Okay. Ah! But if I can get your soul, I can stop Asgore's plan. I can save humanity from destruction. Oh. Well, maybe I should... Oh, wait, but then I'd still have to die. Then using your soul, I'll cross through the barrier and become the seventh up to the star I've always dreamed. I will be Ellen DeGeneres. Hey, Alphys, you did this. Uh, I can't see what's going out of there, but don't give up, okay? There's one last way to beat Metaton. It's, um, it's, this is the work in progress, so don't judge it too hard. But you know how Metaton always faces forward? It's because there's a switch on his backside. So if you can turn him around um, and uh, press the switch, he'll be um, he'll be vulnerable. Well, gotta go. Seems like a good time to turn Metaton around. I'm gonna turn you. Tell Metaton that there's a mirror behind him. Oh, a mirror! Right, I have to look perfect for our grand finale. Um, what am I supposed to do? Oh, okay. Did you just flip my switch? <gasps> I really hope he just straight up turns into Ellen DeGeneres. Oh, yes. I'm unbelievably uncomfortable. It's almost a real boy! Oh my. If you flipped my switch, that could only mean one thing. You're desperate for the premiere of my new body. How rude. Lucky for you, I've been aching to show this off for a long time. So as thanks, I'll give you a handsome reward. I'll make your last living moments. Oh! Absolutely beautiful! The ratings! The ratings! Fuse are down! Oh my god, look at him break it down. Holy shit. Those boots are like the freaking- Y'all know the, the Spongebob movie where Patrick has to like <laughs> lower Spongebob from the ceiling when he's on the rope and he's got those boots on? I'm gonna pose. Dramatic, plus 100. You pose dramatically, the audience nods. Do I just have to get ratings up? Is that how I beat this fight? Lights, camera, action! Eh. Yeah. Yeah. Metaton. Yep, I agree. It's Metaton EX. You say you aren't going to get hit at all. Ratings gradually increase during Metaton's turn. Ah, so this one, it's like, stakes are high. Ah! Okay. I disappointed them. I need to, I need to get better. Smile for the camera. Don't tell me what to do. Woohoo! I'm incredible. This one's an essay question. What do you love most about Metaton? Um, I really like that you're honest about your feeling. I wasn't done! Get a gold star. Oh, okay. Your essay really showed everyone your heart. Why don't I show you mine? Oh, do I have to beat it up? Eh. No! I disappointed the audience! Oh, shit. Sorry. But how are you on the dance floor? Very good. Our union regulated break. Happy break time! Yay! Thank you. Whoa, my God. Oh my God, look at him go. You've grown so distant, darling. How about another heart to heart? Eh, eh, eh. Oh. Eh, eh, eh. Woo! I'm gonna kick your shit in. I'm gonna kick your heart in. No! I wasn't gonna get hit and then I got hit. Bop. Oh, the arms. I'm sorry. Ugh. I feel bad. I'm sorry. You were so excited about your new body. Arms. Who needs arms with legs like these? I'm still going to win. Ah! Oh, I can shoot these. These are shootable boxes. Woo! 
There's a rewind function. Lights, camera, enough of this. Do you really want humanity to perish? Or do you just believe in yourself that much? Yeah, I believe in myself. <laughs> How inspiring. Well, darling, it's either me or you. But I think we both already know who's going to win. Witness the true power of humanity's star. Pretty lackluster. Ah! Damn. Oh no, your legs! I'm sorry. Are you the star? Can you really protect humanity? Yes. Whoa, now you're really mad. Look at these ratings, 11,000. Oh my God. Oh, look at these ratings. That's exactly what I just said. This is the most viewers I've ever had. We've reached a viewer call it milestone. One lucky viewer will have the chance to talk to me before I leave the underground forever. Let's see who calls in first. Hi, you're on TV. What do you have to say on this, our last show? Oh, hi, Metaton. I really liked watching your show. My life is pretty boring, but seeing you on the screen brought excitement to my life vicariously. I can't tell, but I guess this is the last episode. I'll miss you, Metaton. Oh, I didn't mean to talk so long. Oh, this is totally naps to Blook. Oh. No, wait, wait. B, B L is that short for Blook? He. They already hung up. Okay, time out, time out. I'm picking up on nuances. I can tell he was about to say he and then correct himself to say they. You know him. The BL was probably a nickname like Blukey or Bluke or whatever. You know each other. There's history. Maybe, oh my God. Okay, I'm connecting all the dots here. The house next to Naps and Bluke's house is your house and your neighbors and you're his only friend. And now you feel guilty about leaving him behind. I'll take another caller. Metaton, your show made us so happy. Metaton, I don't know what I'll watch without you. Metaton, there's a metaton shaped hole in my metaton shaped heart. Uh, I, I see. Everyone, thank you so much. Darling, perhaps it might be better if I stay here for a while. Humans already have stars and idols, but monsters, they only have me. If I left, the underground would lose its spark. I'd leave an aching void that could never be filled. I'm not sure about that. So I think I'll have to delay my big debut. Besides, you've proven to be very strong. Perhaps even strong enough to get past Asgore. I'm sure you'll be able to protect humanity. Ha ha. It's all for the best anyway. The truth is, this forum's energy consumption is inefficient. In a few moments, I'll run out of battery power. I'll be alright. Knock him dead, darling. And everyone, thank you. You've been a great audience. I mean, his daddy exploded. Metatod, are you okay? Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Did he die? Well, no, clearly not. He was talking a lot about the future. Thank God, it's just the batteries. Metatod, if you were God, I would've... I would've... I mean, hey, it's no problem, you know? He's just a robot. If you messed it up, I could always just build another... Why don't you go out ahead? Yeah, I would love to not talk to you anymore. Okay, we finally shook Alphys. Like, okay. <sighs> Sorry about that. Let's keep going. How much longer are you going to play these games with me? You must be pretty excited about all that, huh? Yeah, for real. You'll finally, you'll finally get to go home. Yeah, mm-hmm. Okay, bye. Bye. Oh my god. Wait, I mean, um, I- I was just going to, um, say goodbye and... I can't say this anymore. Yeah, this is the worst. I- I lied to you. <gasps> oh! Well, yeah! Oh! You li lied? You lied to me? Oh! No! Drop the shit, please. A human soul isn't strong enough to cross- Oh, that's what you lied about? That's it? Oh, for sure. This human soul isn't strong enough to cross the barrier alone. It takes at least a human soul and a monster soul. Ooh. If you want to go home, you'll have to take his soul. You'll have to kill Asgore. I will never. Bye. I'm sorry. Yeah, that's not what you should be sorry about. You- tormented me. Jesus Christ. Okay, bye. Here we are. It's the house. This looks like the ruins house with the like little garden out front. Oh my God, it is the, ru wait, what? Why is it? 
It's just over the ruins has black and white. I need two padlocks. Howdy, I'm in the garden. If you have anything you need to get off your chest, please don't hesitate to come. The keys are in the kitchen and in the hallway. Uh, kitchen and the... Hello? Oh my god, the frogs are giving me lore. Long time ago, a human fell into the ruins. Injured by its fall, the human called out for help. Was it me? Or was it a different human? Apparently there's a different human walking around with a striped shirt, so... I got the key, baby! Bruh! Asriel. 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 <laughs> the king's... We'll go, we'll go with Asriel. The king's son heard the human's call. He brought the human back to the castle. Oh, can I go in my room? <gasps> Presents! Oh my god, there's two beds! What the hell? One of them is for Asriel. What's the other one? Is the other one the, the person? The kid? Did they like adopt the human when they fell down? There's a heart-shaped locket inside the box. Will you take it? Uh, of course. Got the heart-shaped locket. Uh, da -der. How good is the heart-shaped locket? Armor defense 15. It says best friends forever. Throw that she on, baby! There's a worn dagger inside the box. Will you take it? Sure. I'm under renovations. That's- it says the same thing in the other place. Look at uh, jelly molds. Over time, Azriel and the human became like siblings. Yeah, okay. So that is their room. The king and the queen treated the human child as their own. The underground was full of hope. Well, that's very sweet. Until, why is he green? It's me! Despite everything, it's still you. You unlocked the chain. The chain is gone, I ate it. What if there are all these monsters who keep like intercepting me to give lore and like one of them didn't get the memo and it's just like, ah! It starts like tearing me to shreds. The human became very ill. Uh-oh. The sick human who had only one request to see the flowers from their village. There is nothing we could do. Oh, because they can't leave. The next day, the next day, the human died. Aw. Asriel, racked with grief, absorbed the human's soul. Oh, gross. He transformed into a being with incredible power. With the human soul, Asriel crossed through the barrier. He carried the human's body into the sunset back to the village of the humans. Asriel reached the center of the village. There, he found a bed of golden flowers. Golden flowers are clearly significant. They've been everywhere, and I don't know why, but they're important. He carried the human onto it. Suddenly, screams rang out. Uh-oh. The villagers saw Asriel holding the human's body. They thought that he had killed the child. Yeah, I mean, that's fair, but maybe you can explain yourself, Asriel. The humans attacked him with everything they had. He was struck with blow after blow. Asriel had the power to destroy them all, but he didn't. But Asriel did not fight back. Clutching the human, Asriel smiled and walked away. See, say something. I don't care how stoic you freaking think you are. Wounded, Asriel stumbled home. He entered the castle and collapsed. His dust spread across the garden. Oh, so now they're both dead. Oh, well, that's not very nice for the king and queen. Who's the queen? Oh, is it Toriel? Okay, because her house looks freaking exactly like this house. So maybe they lived here, had the kids. The kids both bit it at the same time. And then, like, I don't know, either there was their, mar their marriage fell apart or whatever, and Toriel moved to the ruins, and that's why she was so adamant about, like, don't leave, you're gonna die. The king and queen had lost two children in one night. The humans had once again taken everything from us. The king decided it was time to end our suffering. He killed all of us. Every human who falls down here must die. With enough souls, we can shatter the barrier forever. King Asgore will say, give us hope. They all said different things, but I only read the middle one by accident. Oh God, I'm the last one. You should be smiling too. Aren't you excited? Aren't you happy? Not particularly. I don't think I've smiled a single time throughout this experience. Oh, you're going to be free. No, I'm not. What part of this do you not understand? I'm going to be murked. Is this where the big fight happens? Oh, no. Oh, he's gonna be behind one of the pillars. Oh, what the hell? What are you doing here, dude? You're not the king. <gasps> are you the king this whole time? Whoa, that would be crazy. So you finally made it. The end of your journey is at hand. And in a few moments, you will meet the king. Okay, so it's not him. Together, you will determine the future of this world. That's then, now. You will be judged. You will be judged for your every action. You will be judged for every XP you've earned. What's EXP? It's an acronym. It stands for execution points. Oh, that's right. I didn't get any XP because I didn't kill anybody. 
way of quantifying the pain you've inflicted on others. When you kill someone, your EXP increases. When you have enough EXP, your love increases. Love, too, is an acronym. Stands for Level of Violence. Oh my god. A way of measuring someone's capacity to hurt. The more you kill, the easier it becomes to distance yourself. The more you distance yourself, the less you will hurt. The more easily you can bring yourself to hurt others. Oh. There we go. I was about to say, where's my comic sans? But you, you never gained any love. Of course, that doesn't mean you're completely innocent or naive. Just that you kept a certain tenderness in your heart. No matter the struggles or hardships you faced, you strived to do the right thing. You refused to hurt anyone. Even when you ran away, you did it with a smile. You never gained love, but you gained love. Does that make sense? That was corny as hell. Sans, come on. Maybe not. The rest of it was sweet, though. You're about to face the greatest challenge of your entire journey. Your actions here will determine the fate of the entire world. I am like a little toddler. Look at my dumb silhouette. This is a lot of pressure on me. If you refuse to fight, Asgore will take your soul and destroy humanity. But if you kill Asgore and go home, monsters will remain trapped underground. What will you do? Well, if I were you, I would have thrown in the towel by now. But you didn't get this far by giving up, did you? Yeah, you have something called determination. So as long as you hold on, as long as you do what's in your heart, I believe you can do the right thing. All right. We're all counting on you, kid. Good luck. Oh, and are you going to be gone now? Whoa, metal. Absolutely metal. I'm a curious little cat. I'm a curious little bee. Oh, is this the way I'm supposed to go? I can't help it. I can't help but snoop. Oh, my God. Okay, you know what? Good morning. It's the king. Good morning. Whoa, your voice is cool. Dum de dum. Oh, is someone there? Just a moment. I have almost finished watering these flowers. Oh, do you enjoy gardening, mister? Oh. Hi. Oh, you have a kind face. Oh, you look like Toriel. You're also like a goat. Howdy. How can I? Oh. Oh. Looks like my kill count's about to go up by one. I so badly want to say, would you like a cup of tea? But you know how it is. Hmm. Nice day today, huh? How's he watering plants if he has nothing on his hands? Oh, he's probably just peeing on them, I guess. Birds are singing. Flowers are blooming. Perfect weather for a game of catch. I agree. Do you want to play catch? We can play catch. Catch these hands! Ha! I just come straight for him. I'll do it. You know what we must do. When you are ready, come into the next room. I'm ready, I'm ready, I'm ready. Ooh, 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 ooh. Ooh, 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 ooh. Just think of it like a visit to the dentist. Okay. That helps me a little bit. Thank you. Wow, yeah, I definitely need to save again. That was a lot of yeah, a lot of a lot of progress there. Are you ready? If you are not, I understand. I am not ready either. We can learn together. Oh. This is the barrier. This is what keeps us all trapped underground. Everyone's saying no about college. I thought I could just like, I thought I, thought I can just do it like afterwards. I can just kill myself. If by chance you have any unfinished business, please do what you might. Okay, he's literally giving me time to do it. He's literally giving me time to do it. I gotta be quick. I gotta be quick. I have done, I have worked so hard to raise money for your college education. Please be grateful. Tempe for college. Yes. <gasps> what? That's a lot of minds. Can Tem really accept? Okay. Tem going to college and make you proud. Oh. Welcome back. Tem back from cooling. Tem learned many things. They're just a new item. Yay. It was a mistake ever meeting you, Tommy. All right, let's walk all the way back. How are you feeling? 
Um, I'm ready. Mm, I see. This is it then. Ugh. Hi. Ready? Oh, your eyes look so patient. Oh, gr that is terrifying. Look at all the other kids who died. A strange light fills the room. Twilight is she sh nope shining through the barrier. I'm embarrassed. It seems your journey is finally over. You're filled with determination. Human. It was nice to meet you. Goodbye. Oh god. Oh my god. No, what are you doing? What the hell, dog? He knows the ins and outs. Damn, that was like my whole plan. How did you know? Uh, let's chat. <laughs> you quietly tell Asgore you don't want to fight him. His hands tremble for a moment. Tell Asgore you don't want to fight him. His breathing gets funny for a moment. You firmly tell Asgore to stop fighting. Recollection flashes in his eyes. Asgore's attack drop and his defense drop. Okay. Um, still hitting pretty hard if you ask me. What? How the f- Oh, his eyes. Okay, we'll do that next time. Uh, I'll check you. 80 attack, 80 defense. No description. Okay. What is- Ah. Whoa. Da -da -da -da. Okay. Well, I can dodge all I want, but how do I progress the dang fight? I think I have to- Yeah, I think I have to fight him. Yeah, okay. Well, let's do it. Maybe this is where- Okay. That, that advice that Frog gave me at the beginning of the game that I haven't used a single time, where he said if you act the right way or attack until someone's just, like, not dead, uh, then you can spare them. So maybe this is where I finally have to, I just have to beat him down until he's too weak to fight back and then say, no, 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 I won't kill you. And then we both live. I can do this all day. I'm going hit. Oops. How will you spare him? You removed your mercy. Maybe, maybe he'll just be so weak that we just sit there forever and chat. Butts pie? Is it time for the butts pie? Oh, I put the butts pie away. Oh, shit. The butts pie is in the box. Oh, yeah, quiche. Bra. We're, we're a blow half. Oh, I do have the pie. It's just called pie. Uh, I, I'll eat this glam burger. Oh, my damn, my attack is getting more and more attack. Bra. Nope. That was it. Okay. I'm sorry. I'm very sorry. Oh, but see, his HP bar didn't go to zero. There was a little, little, little wiener left. So that is how it is. I'm sorry. We can still be friends. Okay, you know what? Let's bring in the swelling orchestral. I remember the day after my son died. The entire underground... Oh, that D is really pushing it there on the right side. The entire underground was devoid of hope. The future had once again been taken from us by the humans. In a fit of anger, I declared war. I said that I would destroy any human that came here. I would use their souls to become godlike and free us from this terrible prison. Then I would, you can just, you can talk a little faster. Then I would destroy humanity and let monsters rule the surface in peace. Soon the people's hopes returned. My wife, however, became disgusted with my actions. She left this place, never to be seen again. Truthfully, I do not want power. I do not want to hurt anyone. I just wanted everyone to have hope. But, I guess so Toriel is his wife. I cannot take this any longer. I just want to see my wife. I just want to see my child. Well, uh, one of those is possible. Please, young one. This war has gone on long enough. You have the power. You have the power. Take my soul and leave this cursed place. No, no, no. I put it back together with scotch tape and glue. Yes, yeah, right. After everything I've done to hurt you, you would rather stay down here and suffer than live happily on the surface? Ah, he's going to adopt me? I promise you, for as long as you remain here, my wife and I will take care of you as best we can. We can sit in the living room, telling stories, eating butterscotch pie, butts pie. We could be like, like a family. Oh my God. Oh my God. What the hell? Oh, there's one left. I was about to say, where's that bullet going? Are you shitting me? 
They're going to tickle me with the idea of having a happy, functional family. It's a flower! I literally forgot this dude was in the game. You idiot! You haven't learned a thing. In this... Oh, shit. We're all dead. Oh, we're all dead. It's kill or be killed. Oh, look at his face. We're screwed. We're screwed. You can't have mine, though. Hands off. My game just crashed. I That was not me closing it. I, it just crashed. Oh my god, I'm sure that's scripted, but I'm still freaked. Long ago- Oh, this is different. Hold on. This does not look right. This looks different. I hate that. That genre of horror. Like, that kind of, like, really meta kind of horror. That kind of- That is- Has always been the kind of horror that, like, gets me the most. Flowey. My world. Did you like make a Minecraft world and forget to name it or something? Oh. Hey, I'm I I'm I can I can play. See? Don't worry guys, game's not broken. <gasps> Save point. The end. So can I oh file erased. Oh damn, we're getting meta here. It's me, Flowey! Flowey the flower. I owe you a huge thanks. You really did a number on that old fool. Without you, I never could have gotten past him. But now, oh, that is creepy. I hate that. He's dead. That is terrifying. And I've got the human souls. I've been empty for so long. Feels great to have a soul inside me again. Mm, I can feel them wriggling. Okay, yeah, give me more deeds, please. Aw, oh, you're feeling left out, aren't you? Well, that's just perfect. After all, I only have six souls. I still need one more before I become God. And then, with my newfound powers, that's Toriel. Monsters. Human- Ah, uh, that's a really good impression of me. Everyone. I'll show them all the real meaning of this world. What is it? Oh, and forget about escaping to your old save file. It's gone forever. But don't worry. Your old friend Flowey has worked out a replacement for you. I'd love to see it. Oh my god. I'll save over your own death so you can watch me tear you to bloody pieces over and over and over. Oh, I took a step forward. Oh my god. Challenge. What? Do you really think you can stop me? Hee hee hee. You really are an idiot. Yeah, true. That's what my teachers told me, baby. Let's go. Ah. Uh. Oh, gross. What the hell is that? Oh, there's a lot going on on my screen. Oh, there he is. Ooh, his eyes move like lizard people. Wow. Okay. Those are all just like straight up PNGs. I see some worms in there. Oh, Christ. Okay, so now I just got to... Woo! Woo! Okay. Woo! Fight! Ah! Ah, fire! Whoa! Ah! Oh my god! What in God's name? Ah! Warning, blue. The hell? What is happening? Oh, the, now the blue soul is attacking me. Oh, it's got knives. Ow! 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 Act! Call for help. Oh, I'm totally boned. Oh. <gasps> wow. Orange helped me. Thanks, orange. Us warm colors gotta unite. Wow! Jesus Christ! Warning, orange. Oh, orange, you're the one who helped me out. What the hell? You're turning on me? What's wrong with me? What was wrong with you, I mean? Oh, you got all kinds of little hands. I'm gonna hide in the in the little center. Wow, look at all these. Look at all these hands. Wow, you must be good at playing the piano. Okay, I called for help. Oh, I'm gonna use take advantage of that empty help space. Thumbs up. Look at all these likes. You can't- Oh, you loaded a save. You can't save over my own death if I don't die. Whoa. Dark blue. Okay. Oh, th you know what? This baseline, I don't know if this is like stupid of me, but this baseline sounds like the um, Papa's Bakery racing minigame. Oh my god. Wow. Oh god. I'm gonna die. 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 Whee! 
I'm operating on pure adrenaline now, baby. Oh my god, there's so many attacks. This one, yeah. I was about to say, this one, I just do not. This is all just a bad dream. And you're never waking up. I can wake. Oh my god, my eyes. Ow. Jesus Christ. Stop laughing at me. It quit. Let's go ahead and... Let's go ahead and boot the game up really fast. This one, I it could, like, it confounds me. Like when it gets really hard and he's shooting them at like a mile a minute. Okay, yeah, for sure. Terror, hatred, corrupt, destroy. Oh, are you a writer? Okay. Am I learning about, oh, are these like, so all of these souls belonged to past humans, right? So am I like, are these attacks just like all their hobbies? Cause like one of them was like cooking and one of them, well, one of them was just a glove. I don't know how that's a hobby. Never mind. One of them was dancing. That one was like writing. I couldn't see the fires cause your stupid text box. Eggs. Thank you. What is your hobby? You like to shoot people. <gasps> Yellow heart. Oh my God. They're all coming together as one. Hello, my friends, the previous humans. Yay! Other children who have sadly passed. Flowey's defense dropped to zero. Yeah! Flower! I'm beating the absolute tar out of him. Band-Aid! Okay. Uh, ah! What in God's name? Ah, fire! Okay, I'm doing some damage. Ah! Yeah, I missed the flower. Ah. Oh, they do have a hitbox. Thumbs up. Hell yeah. Fight. Fight. I'm so low. Ah! Come on. We're so close. We're so close. Yeah. Hell yeah. I killed it. Wait, can't he just like freaking... If he's like the literal god of the universe, can't he just be like restart? No, no. This can't be happening. You, you... Unfortunately so. <laughs> you idiot. Well, up. Oh. I'll get up. Oh. Okay. I can move out of the way. I can move out of the way. Oh my God. Oh, this time he wants to savor it. Hee hee hee. Did you really think you could defeat me? Yeah, honestly, for a bit there, I did actually. I am the God of this world. And you, you are hopeless. Hopeless and alone. Golly, that's right. Your worthless friends can't save you now. Call for help. I dare you. I would love to. Mommy, Daddy, somebody help! See what good it does you. Okay. You called for help. Well, <laughs> but nobody came. Boy, what a shame. Nobody else is gonna get to see you die. Yeah, it's... Yeah, it's fair. Oh, get owned. I have, I don't know, plot armor. What? How'd you? Well, I'll just. Wh Where are my powers? The souls, what are they doing? Ah! Oh my God, it's a rave. Oh, it's a bowling alley. You can't do that. It's not fair. You're supposed to obey me. Stop. Stop it. Stop. Please. They unionized. Remember, you always have safety in numbers. Oh. Kill him. Yeah, well, you have the chance. Rah! No, I'll spare. I feel like that would be, that would be out of character. I will spare you. Though, if this were real life, if I was in this position... Yeah, absolutely. I would, I would, I would kill him right there. It, like, y'all can call me monster and pretend you'd be like, no, I'd be the bigger man. And I would, no, dude, freaking with other people. It's like, yeah, they're just misunderstood, whatever. They've been oppressed. This dude literally threatened to kill everyone, every human and every monster. Of course, I'm going to kill it if I have the chance. What are you doing? Do you really think I've learned anything from this? No. I'm just going to do it despite you now, because it seems to be annoying you. Sparing me won't change anything. Killing me is the only way to end this. If you let me live, I'll come back. Boink. I'll kill you. Boink. I'll kill everyone. Boink. 
I'll kill everyone you love. I don't know if that's true. Yep, get rocked. Yep. Why? Why are you being so nice to me? Cause you're my friend, you little freak. I can't understand. I can't understand. I just can't understand. It's because you're a psychopath. Flowey ran away. Undertale. I was gonna say, is it gonna do? Is it gonna be like Bruh, Undertale? Oh. Wow. By Toby Fox. Good job, Toby Fox. I had an absolute blast. Just calling to say, you made a snowman really happy. Hell yes, I did. Why did you let me go? Don't you realize that being nice just makes you get hurt? Look at yourself. You made all these great friends, but now you'll probably never see them again. Not to mention how much they've been set back by you. That's kind of fair. Hurts, doesn't it? If you had just gone through without caring about anyone, you wouldn't have to feel bad now. So I don't get it. If you really did everything the right way, why do things still end up like this? Why? Is life really that unfair? Say, what if I told you? I knew some way to get you a better ending. You'll have to load your save file and... Well, in the meantime, why don't you go see Dr. Alphys? Seems like you could have been better friends. Who knows? Maybe she's got the key to your happiness? See you soon. You... Creep me out. Why would I ever trust you? Oh, you have to deliver something for me. Uh, please. I need you to deliver this letter to Dr. Alphys. Huh? Why don't I do it myself? Um, well... It's kind of personal, but we're friends, so I'll tell you Hotland sucks. I don't have to go over there. So here you go. They totally have a crush on each other. This is adorable. How am I doing? By I, I mean the piece of me I gave you. That's it? You're not gonna... But I, I, but I went so f I... Okay. Oh, I can kill two birds with one stone. I need to go to the lab anyway, according to the flower man, who I guess I trust now. That's probably a bad call. The door has no mail slot. Slide it under? Yeah, I'll slide. You slide the letter under the door and give it a knock. Oh, no. Is that another letter? I don't want to open it. Can't I just slide it back out? No, I, I can't keep doing this. I'll read this one. Oh my god, what is that? Oh! Hey, if this is a joke, it's... Oh my god. Did you write this letter? It wasn't signed, so I had no idea who could have. Oh my god. Oh no. That's adorable. Oh god. So passionately, too. Okay, I don't need to hear it all. Yeah, let's go on a date. Oh my god. I already did this and it didn't go super well. Okay, here we go. Dating start. Dating start. Uh, sorry. Still getting dressed. Okay. Ah! How do I look? You look great. What what is what is happening? This is is this game is this game just trying to jump through any hoops possible to stick me in the most uncomfortable social situations you could possibly imagine? This is uh, two for two on like worst nightmare date scenarios. We already got hit with dating someone who doesn't love you back, and now we're on to dating someone who seems disinterested in dating in general. Uh, but we gotta give you items to raise your affection statistic first. That'll increase the chance of a successful outcome to the date. Oh, do you play like dating sims? I've been stockpiling gifts in anticipation for a date like this. First, I've got some metal armor polish. Ooh, you can you can save that one for Undyne if you want. Oh, uh, maybe you can't use that. But, but, I also brought some waterproof cream for your scales. You can also probably just put that in the Undyne pile. Your uh, scales. Uh, well, how about this magical spear repair kit that I, um, hey, let's forget about the items. Let's just start the date. Yeah, let's, uh, date. My skin is crawling. Uh, do you like anime? Sure. Hey, me too. Okay. Hey, let's go somewhere. But where's a good place to go on a date? I've got it. Let's go to the garbage dump. Oh, I would love to go to the garbage dump. 
Oh, I love it. Look at all these fun... Wow, your garbage is so much more fun than mine. You got, like, weaponry, severed limbs, bunny rabbit, doggy. Why are there... Why, who's throwing away puppies? Oh, no. That's her over there. I can't let her see me on a date with you. Why? Why? Because, uh, well... Oh, no, here she comes. Oh, she's dressed up, too. Oh, my God. Hey, there you are. I, uh, realized if you deliver that thing, it might be a bad idea. So I'm gonna do it. Give it to me. Huh? You don't have it. Have you at least seen her? Uh, oh, she is, she is quaking. I'm gonna say yes. I, like, I know Alphys probably wants me to say no, but these two are made for each other. I'm gonna say yeah. Yes. So she's somewhere around here. Thanks, I'll keep looking. Oh, oh my god. Well, I guess it's obvious, huh? I, uh, I really like her. I mean, more than I like other people. I'm sorry. I just figured, you know, it'd be fun to go on, like, a cute kind of pretend date with you to make you feel better. Wow, that makes me feel a lot better. Thanks. Imagine. Imagine you just went on a date with, like, your dream, dream girl. And then she's like, yeah, I just want to, like, go on a cute pretend date. I would never step foot outside of my house again. Undyne's the person I, um, really want to go on a date with. But, I mean, she's way out of my league. Not that you aren't, uh, cool, but Undyne, she's so confident and strong and funny. And I'm just a nobody, a fraud, I'm the royal scientist, but all I've ever done is hurt people. I've told her so many lies, she thinks I'm, she thinks I'm a lot cooler than I actually am. Tell her the truth. The truth? I thought after watching all the anime you watched, that lesson would have been just drilled into your brain by now. So do we want to role play it or do we want to obviously role play it? That actually sounds kind of fun. Okay, which one of us will be undyne? Uh, you'll be undyne. <laughs> me, undyne. Uh, 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 okay. I'll say what I think she'd say and you, um, you show me what I'm supposed to do. <clears throat> yeah, hey, Elvis, you look cute today. Which I say often, but platonically, because I would never like you. Yo, you're one hot baby. Let's got into you. Hot baby, how dare you call me that? First off, I'm a baby knight, captain of the babies. Treat my position with respect or I will strike you down. Uh, now pretend I'm suplexing a boulder for no reason. Um, uh, anyway, what do you want to say, Alphys? <laughs> Alphys gives you a kiss, comma. Absolutely. What? I would never. Alphys, what are you doing? I say, pushing you away from me, you shouldn't kiss me. But you're so good at it. Because of what you learned from those dating video games, I, I can't help but kiss you back. This is, oh my God, oh my God. This is absolutely horrific. Yeah, yeah, I'm undone and I'm piling out the smooches. What did you say? I died. I was just... Hey, whoa, wait a second. Your outfit's really cute. What's the occasion? Wait a second. Are you two on a date? Uh, yes. I mean, uh, no. I mean, we were, but, I mean, actually we were only romantically role-playing as you. What? I mean, this is... One of the most catastrophic and legendary social collapses I've ever seen. I've been lying to you. What? About what? About, well, everything. I told you that seaweed was, like, scientifically important. Really, I just used it to make ice cream. And those human history books I keep reading, those are just dorky comic books. And the history movies, those... Those are just, uh, anime. They aren't real. And that time I told you I was busy with work on the phone, I was just eating frozen yogurt in my pajamas. And that time I... Alphys, I, I just wanted to impress you. I just wanted you to think I was smart and cool. That I wasn't some dirty loser. Alphys, yay, more friends. Look at everybody. I'm such a good matchmaker. I didn't do any of this. This is just them working it out and I'm present. Alphys, shh, shh, shut up. Oh. Three points. Damn, that was clean. Alphys, I think you're neat too, I guess. 
but you gotta realize most of what you said really doesn't matter to me. I don't care if you're watching kid cartoons or reading history books. To me, all that stuff is just nerdy crap. What I like about you is that you're passionate. You're analytical. Doesn't matter what it is. You care about it. 100% at maximum power. So you don't have to lie to me. I don't want you to have to lie to anyone anymore. Alphys, I want to help you become happy with who you are. And I know just the training you need to do that. Oh my god. Undyed, you... You're gonna train me? Psh, what? Me? Hell yes. Jog boy! I'll do my best. Wow, there they go. Oh my god. Oh, is she about to freak out? She was kidding, right? Those cartoons. Those comics. Those are still real, right? Anime is real, right? Hmm. You know what? I know, I know we were... God, the music is absurd. I know we were, we were dropping those truth bombs about being, like, not lying, telling the truth. Look at her face, man. I feel like if I tell her anime is not real, I'm gonna have a spear through the heart. <laughs> I knew it. Gigantic swords, magical princesses, here I come. Uh, thanks for taking care of Alphys. I feel strongly and for no apparent reason, you should also go there to her lab house. I have only good feelings about this. Goodbye. Someone put him up to this. I'm gonna do it anyway. Oh my god, wait, hold on. Do y'all remember early on in the game when I was at dinner with Sans and he said that thing about like Papyrus has been telling me that sometimes a talking flower whispers advice to him. Camera's still on me. I feel like by now she would have been like, hey, this is weird. Let's disable it. Oh, I can go in the Alpha's room. The bathroom. Elevator losing power. I'll, t I'll, I'll, I'll power it with my electric personality. Whoa. This feels so, like, stylistically different from the rest of the game. Like, the way the walls are shaded. I feel like we haven't seen that kind of, like, dithering anywhere. Time to do what the king has asked me to do. I will create the power to free us all. I will unleash the power of the soul. Soul power can only be derived from what was once living. So, to create more, we will have to use what we have now. The souls of monsters. Oh my god, is, did they like kill a bunch of monsters and it didn't work? But extracting a soul from a living monster would require incredible power. Besides being impractical, doing so would instantly destroy the soul's host. And unlike the persistent souls of humans, the souls of most monsters disappear immediately on death. If only I could make a monster soul last. Using the blueprints, I've extracted it from human souls. I believe this is what gives their souls the strength to persist after death. The will to keep living, the resolve to change fate. Is this determination? Yeah, let's call this power determination. We missed one, I think. This was three, right? Yeah. Can I buy some chips? Buy some chips? Yeah, I'll buy some chips. I didn't seem... It dispensed some chisps. Can I collect my chisps? Do I have chisps? Potato chisps. There's a note on the ground. I can't make it all out. <laughs> I don't know why. Asgore asked everyone outside the city for monsters that had fallen down. Their bodies came in today. They're still comatose, and soon they'll all turn into dust. But what happens if I inject determination into them? If their souls persist after they perish, then freedom might be closer than we all thought. Oh, okay. I have ideas. Uh, I think she tried to inject determination into like almost dead monsters, and maybe it just made them like straight up explode. And she like didn't have the heart to tell their families, like, "Hey, I killed. I killed your." Daddy for real for real. Do I have to turn on all the sinks? Ew. Ew. Oh my god. What the hell? Seems like it doesn't care anymore. Okay. There's a red key lying in the sink. Oh, I could probably put it in that slot. Entry number 13. One of the bodies opened its eyes. Oh, okay. Seems like it comes real bad. Lie on it. Yeah, okay. Do I like heal? Ooh, no, I don't like this. What am I waiting for? Ah! Okay. No, absolutely not. I'm okay. Seems like this research was a dead end. But at least we got a happy ending out of it. Sent the souls back to Asgore. Return the vessel to his garden. Return the vessel to his garden. What the hell does that mean? Return the vessel to... Is that... F is that the... F is that the flower? Is that the goddamn flower? What's the freaking flower's name? I can't, I can't remember. The, the damn flower. You know the one. The ass hat. Is that just, like, a flower that got, like, injected with the soul juice and then, like, went psycho? I'll send everyone back tomorrow, smiley face. I oh, did she say she called all the families and let everyone know that they're alive? Oh, Christ. 
Entry number 16. No, 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 no. Yep. Yep. I hate this. Okay. I'll take the key. Hello? Oh, you little trickster. It was like sweet lemons. That that body is is the like thing. Remember that thing that was singing at me? I see it looks like that. I don't know if it, they're related. Maybe this is like one of those and then this is like, and it got juice put into it and then freaking exploded. You have a familiar tune. Lemon bread. Lemon bread's body shakes. Wow, welcome to my special hell. I love it. Ah, these are all various acts from like various enemies that I've seen before. Flex was that one Aaron guy. Unhug was the like giant jelly creature. Mold big. I don't remember scream, cry, or call. I'll unhug. Oh yeah, it has the it has the jelly guy's teeth. Is this like a combo of a bunch of things? Do you think I'm pretty? Yeah, I'd say so. Could this be goodbye? Yes, it could be. Never even look at me again. Something here. It feels warm and moist. Oh, that's my favorite adjectives. Okay, I'm turning back. I think I need to like do something before I come in here. Psst, gory. What the hell is gory? Gory in the house? Now that Metaton's made it big, he never talks to me anymore. I have to ask when I'm going to finish his body. But I'm afraid if I finish his body, he won't need me anymore. Then we'll never be friends ever again. Not to mention, every time I try to work on it, I just get really sweaty. Oh, because you got you have the hots for your own creation. Press it? Yeah, blow, blow the smoke away. Oh, I wonder if now the smoke in that other room... Oh. Hmm. I wonder if the smoke in that other room is now like... Oh, gross. Uh, I cannot... Hopefully, I'll just come at you. It's the amalgamate. I'll back in you. You call the amalgamate. Oh, it's drippy hole. Bounds towards you, flecking a strange liquid from an orifice. Oh. 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 Pet decisively. The amalgamate seems to be satisfied by all this. It's endogony is contented. Bye. The families keep calling me to ask when everyone's coming home. What am I supposed to say? I don't even answer the phone anymore. Oh, okay, I see. Ooh, yucky. It's so cold. Oh, it's really... Okay, I recognize the bird. The comedian bird. I think that's the vegetable in there too. I think there's a couple vegetables. Mmm. Let's revise. Did she inject determination into the monsters? Too much of it. And then they all melted together. Told a bad pun about snow. Her expression starts to shift. Haha, <laughs> I remember. Ah. Oh, you missed. I'm, oh, you. I think you missed. She's completely calmed down. Okay, well, she's just like a, a jokester, I suppose. Something under the bed sheets. Yeah, okay. I don't have to lie in the bed. Thank Christ, I was scared. Oh, this is way back. Yep, there it is. We'll need a vessel to wield the monster souls when the time comes. After all, a monster cannot absorb the souls of other monsters, just as a human cannot absorb a human soul. So then, what about something that's neither human nor monster? A goddamn flower. I almost just threw up. Entry number 10. Oh. Oh. Ew. What in God's name? Okay, I recognize... Okay, the eye creature. I remember that. Everything else is just like a total freaking... Ew. Okay, its name is a comma. Mystify was the uh, frog, but like the mega frog. Whoa, okay. Something I'm afraid of. What are you so afraid of? Uh, good question. Oh, are you okay? Oh, too many butterflies. Oh, uh, yeah, I've been there. The, whatever. Nice. I made it. All right. Uh, oh, I can I can go out the secret door. Seems like this controls the elevator's power. Yes, please. Ring, ding, ding. Uh oh. Yeah. Okay. You are some dashing, mushy gentleman. Oh, hey, stop! What the hell did you do, Alphys? The power went out, and I've been trying to turn it back on, but it seems like you were one step ahead of me. This is probably just a big inconvenience for you. But I appreciate that you came here to back me up. As I said, I was afraid that I might not come back. 
But that's not because of these guys or anything. I was just worried I would be too afraid to tell the truth. That I might run away or do something cowardly. Uh, I, I suppose I owe you an explanation. As you probably know, Asgore asked me to study the nature of souls. During my research, I isolated a power called Determination. I injected it- yeah, it worked out super well, I think. Injected it into dying monsters so their souls would last after death. But the experiment failed. You see, oops, unlike humans, monsters' bodies don't have enough physical matter to take those concentrations of determination. Their bodies started to melt and lost what physicality they had. Pretty soon, all the test subjects had melted together into those. Seeing them like this, I knew I couldn't tell their families about it. I couldn't tell anyone about it, no matter how much everyone was asking me. That, 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 made it, that probably made it infinitely worse. Come on, guys. It's time for everyone to go home. Wonder how that'll go. Can I, like, follow them home? I want to see how their families react to them and be like, Well, this isn't my... Dad. Entry number eight. I've chosen a candidate. Haven't told Asgore yet. Oh, is it a yellow flower? Is it a yellow flower? In the center of his garden, there's something special. The first golden flower that grew before all the others. Flower from the outside world. Entry number 18. The flower's gone. <laughs> Damn, really? Ring. It's a voice you have never heard before. Okay, then I don't know why we're being so dramatic. That is a- wow, that's a very sing-songy sing voice. Thanks to you, everything has fallen into place. Thims. See you soon. Okay. Maybe it's the kid. Oh, didn't they say there's another kid in a striped shirt down here? Maybe it's that kid. Maybe the kid's soul is in the flower. But then why would it be so evil? What, what does that kid have against everybody and me? It's you? I thought your voice was way lower. I thought you died. A strange light fills- No, this is the exact same. Did I do the wrong thing? Oh! Oh, this is different. This is different. Oh my god. What the hell was that? Oh! It's you! As terrible- Why is your tutorial voice a family guy character? That's true, it does sound like a family guy character. Wow, I'm seeing equal parts, this accent is perfect, and god damn it, the voice is back. <laughs> he deserves mercy too. Tori, you came back. Do not Tori me, dreamer. You pathetic whelp. If you really wanted to free our kind, you could have gone through the barrier after you got one soul. Taken six souls from the humans, then come back and freed everyone peacefully. But instead, you made everyone live in despair because you would rather wait here meekly hoping another human never comes. Tori. You're right. Do you think we can at least be friends again? <sighs> no, Asgore. Aw, oh, he's crying. Oh, all my friends are coming to hang out. I'd like to think that Sans is gonna be Toriel's rebound. Who the hell is that? Oh my god, I literally forgot that Metaton. Is that his name, Metaton? Freddy was a character, man. I feel bad. My child, it seems as if you must stay here for a while. Wow, and I'm still level one. <laughs> that is so humiliating. Papyrus, you called everyone here, right? Oh no, wait. Is she gonna say, like, why? And he's gonna say, like, oh, the flower said so. Let's just say, a tiny flower helped me. God. Damn it. Oh, no. Yeah, okay. Super awesome. I freaking called it from eight miles away. While well, you guys were having your little powwow, I took the human souls. And now, not only are those under my power, but all of your friends' souls are gonna be mine, too. I thought you had a change of heart, you asshat. See, this is what I was talking about. This is what I was talking about. This is exactly, this is exactly what I was talking about. Remember last stream when I was like, I'm gonna pick spare for the vibes, but if this was really me, I would tear this thing to shreds right here. That's why I would have done it. I will achieve my real form. What is your real form? The kid? The freaking human? Oh, I'm, I think I'm right about this. If you leave the underground satisfied, you'll win the game. If you win, you won't want to play with me anymore. Oh, he's 
going out of his way to be the villain because he doesn't want me to like stop playing the game. So I guess the idea is that in this universe, determination is equated to like the meta power that the person playing the game has to like respawn, make save states, quit the game, rejoin the game, le like drop the game for years, reset. Now that he has determination, he like knows of all these things, but he can't leave the game. So he just like loses his mind, bored out of his mind until somebody plays the game. So he's trying to be evil so that I won't stop playing the game. I don't know how this is supposed to be f fun for you. Just kind of sitting here. Ding. What the hell just happened? Do not be afraid, my child. No matter what happens, we will always be there to protect you. Thanks. I got one HP. Oh, thanks, team. That's right, human. You can win. Just do what I would do. Believe in you. Hey, human. If you got past me, you can do anything. So don't worry. We're with you all the way. I don't even beat this guy yet. Come on, this weirdo's got nothing on you. Wow, thanks, guys. Look at all the friends I made. Ah, oh, Ribbit. The frog is my favorite. You, you. Hmm. We played into his hands. I can't believe you're all so stupid. All of your souls are mine. Oh, yeah, we brought all the souls to him. Is it going to be the kid? Is it going to be the, the human, human child? Is that the kid? Is that the kid? I was so tired of being a flower. You killed everyone. That's not a kid. Who is that? Oh, God. I actually don't know who this is. Who the hell? It's another goat. Is this like a kid version of one of the two? Who the hell is this? God damn it. Did the... Ugh, I just like completely forgot. Didn't the... Yeah. Didn't uh, Asgore and the... Oh God, I'm so bad with the names. Toriel. Didn't they have a kid? And I guess this is the kid. And then they also had the human kid that they, like, adopted. So this is the monster kid. Damn. I literally... I forgot the monster kid existed. It's me, your best friend. Really? I feel like we've only just met. Oh my god. Asriel. Oh, I guess that's... Yeah, it's pretty heavy-handed. That's literally just their names smooshed together. It's the end. I'm so confused. I don't understand what's going... Okay, but what is this dude's motive? Why would... Oh my god. I'm tripping balls. Okay, does he think that I'm... Because I'm, I'm also a kid in a striped shirt. Does he think that I'm the kid from before who died and that I, like, used determination to come back? Am I that kid? Is that the big twist at the end? Am I that kid who died? Let's act it out. Whoa. Whoa. Oh, my God. Everything is so intense. I will hope. You hold on to your hopes. You reduce how much damage you'll take this turn. Jesus Christ. Wow. Wee! I got hit. Oh! My God. I don't care about destroying this world anymore. Okay. Oh! Oh, my God. Wee! Okay. Well, you seemed really intent on it the entire game. Oh, my God. I feel like I'm at Shadowland laser tag. Ready, star blazing. Dude, okay. Please calm down. Your attacks are like what I freaking named my Hot Wheels cars when I was eight. Dream, 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 dream. I'm assuming that it's going to be a weighted out kind of fight because as a game creator, I'm sure he wants to get all this dialogue out because it's important to the lore. Wow, that's a really tough attack. <laughs> I'm sorry. Your determination, the power that let you get this far, it's going to be your downfall. Nor. Girl, I'll do it. I'll reference Sharkboy and Lava Girl whenever I damn please. This is my channel. It's time to purge this timeline once and for all. Try it, asshat. Okay, this is good. This feels like we're progressing through the fight. Wow. What, did you get your attacks from Spirit Halloween, you clown? I have one HP. Even after that attack, you're still standing in my way? Wow. You really are something special. But don't get cocky. Up until now, I've only been using a fraction of my real power. Let's see what good your determination is against this. Oh, he's wide as hell now. How am I supposed to take that seriously? That was the dumbest shit I've ever seen. <laughs> oh, okay. Never mind. I take it back. I'm taking you seriously. Uh, struggle. Can't move your body. ra ha 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 Behold my true power. Well. Oh. 
but it refused. Okay, you struggle. Nothing happened. Try to reach your save file. Nothing happened. Tried again to reach your save file. Nothing happened. Seems saving the game really is impossible. But, maybe, with what little power you have, you can quit the game. I can open Task Manager. We, we may both have determination on our side. I'm the one who owns the computer. How many YouTube subscribers do you have? Asriel? Zero. I think that's why you're angry. Maybe that's why you're attacking me. You're jealous of my influence and my stomach virus. Oh, my friends! Uh, I'm going for... I'm going for Asgore first. He's my favorite. I'm gonna give you a big old hug. You hug the lost soul. Seems like his aggression is slowly melting away. Forgive me for this. This is for your own good. Oh, they're attacking me because they're confused and don't understand what the hell's going on. I feel you. I also am confused. The lost soul that you won't hurt him no matter what. Something about this is so familiar to him. Oh, I'm getting through to them. Suddenly, the memories are flooding back. <gasps> Fate is up to you now. You are our future. Yay, I'm bringing all my friends back. Give me big old smoochies. It's gonna come at me. Ah! Um, someone else. Strangely, as your friends remember you, something else began resonating within the soul. Stronger and stronger. Seems that there's still one last person that needs to be saved. But who? Oh, Asriel! Because this isn't really necessarily just Asriel. This is like kind of Asriel, but mostly just like a flower corrupted by the termination with Asriel's soul stuck in it. You reach out and call their name. Huh? What are you doing? Oh, here I come. Oh, it's me after I totally ate it. Oh! We never saw this part, so I, t so I have met Asriel before. Oh, he's so cute! Look at his adorable face. Oh, that is adorable. You feel your friend's souls resonating within Asriel. Ah, okay. No, no, I don't need anyone. Okay. Oh my god. Wow, I actually almost no-hit that attack. That's really cute. Okay, so... Oh my god, it's all clicking. I just remembered. There's also... God, thank god. I like went... I edited uh, down the whole first stream. Uh, into a compilation literally yes like two days ago thank god i did that because otherwise i wouldn't have remembered a lot of stuff from early on in the game that's right there's that one cutscene where like in the waterfall area after you fall down where it's like oh did you, did you fall down are you hurt here i'll help you my name is and then it whites out is that like at the beginning of the game after i fell down asriel like helped me up but then i thought the kid died why am i back there Oh, maybe, okay, okay, maybe that's a flashback to, like, a previous timeline where I fell down, he helped me up, we grew up together, and then I, the kid, got sick and died, and then, God, this is so, so confusing. I tried to bury me, it didn't work. Asriel, that's right, Asriel's the one who died. He died on, like, a bed of golden flowers. So now Asriel's, like, monster soul dust is on the flower, and then Alphys puts the determination into the flower, so now the flower has a will to live, but doesn't have a soul. So it's like, it, it goes insane and it's confused. And Asriel's soul is like trapped in there. And that's what this is, this dude I'm looking at. And then my determination or whatever reset the world when I booted up the game. And so I came back down, but so now I'm the kid and I'm back, but Asriel is still dead and is still, well, is still a flower. And that's why I meet the flower at the beginning of the game instead of meeting Asriel at the beginning of the game. Going like, people are saying I'm close. Okay, I'm sorry, this is so painful. Oh, I thought I was onto something. I'm trying to piece things together. Okay, so I, okay. I'll just, I'm just gonna keep going. I must be missing something. Stop it, get away from me. Do you hear me? I'll tear you apart. Try it. Doesn't look like it, dude. This is a pretty weak attack. Your sperm count's getting lower. <laughs> Don't they look like- I feel like they look a little like sperm. I can't help it. Oh, you're gonna say this? I'm doing this because I love you. You killed like 800 people. Just let me win. Oh my god. Oh, I'm going to the decimals. Stop it! No. Stop it now. Oh my god, look at that. Ha <laughs> ha. I live. Oh, it's getting darker. I'm so alone, Thims. Yeah, kinda. So afraid, Thims. I'm really wrecking the drama of this moment by naming my character Thims. Thims, I... I... 
I don't think in and out is that good. Oh, he's crying. And now he's a little kid again. I'm so sorry. Oh, now he's just a little kid. I know. You're not gonna... Oh, you're not actually Thims, are you? Thims has been gone for a long time. I'm just a, I'm just a freaking separate kid. I'm not even the kid from before. I'm just a kid who looked like the other kid and got mixed up in all this mess. Okay. So at the beginning of the game, I wasn't naming my character. I was naming the original human, Thims, who came down here, got helped up by Asriel, got sick, and died. And now I am a completely separate dude. What is your name? Frisk? What the hell kind of name is Frisk? It's kind of, it's, I kind of dig it. That's a nice name. As a flower, I was soulless. I lacked the power to love other people. However, with everyone's souls inside me, I not only have my own compassion back, but I can feel every other monster's as well. They all care about each other so much. And they care about you too, Frisk. I understand if you hate me. I acted so strange and horrible. Yeah, you really did. That's true. That's the one thing that has not been explained yet is what made him just go absolutely insane. Was I right about that part? When I went on that little tangent there during the fight, a lot of people were saying like you're 90% there or like you're close. Was I like, was I like right on it in every aspect except that these are two separate kids? There's no excuse for what I've done. Yeah, I'll forgive. Of course I'll forgive. Can't keep these souls inside me. The least I can do is return them. But first, there's something I have to do. Right now, I can feel everyone's hearts beating as one. They're all burning with the same desire. With everyone's power, with everyone's determination. It's time for monsters to finally go free. Oh, is he gonna break the barrier? Whoa. Oh my god. Oh my god. He's become so metal. Wow. Oh. The barrier was destroyed. Without the power of everyone's souls, I can't keep maintaining this form. In a little while, I'll turn back into a flower. Oh, that is very sad. I'll stop being myself. I'll stop being able to feel love again. Oh, is this, so I guess that's why Flowey went, like, insane. Uh, I'll comfort him. What the hell what kind of person would say, would get this far and then be like, no, I'm okay. I'm gonna give you a hug. I'm gonna get all up on you. Aw, he's hugging back. Aw, that's really, really cute. I don't want to let go. Oh, I look so sad. You're going to do a great job, okay? No matter what you do, everyone will be there for you, okay? Take care of mom and dad for me, okay? Ooh, does he know they're no longer together? <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> what if he doesn't know? Take care of mom and dad for me, okay? Dude. There I am! Frisk, we do not remember exactly what happened. There was the flower, and then everything went white. But now the barrier is gone. When you are ready, we will all return to the surface. Um, what's an anime? Oh, dude, you're effed. Do you think Azure and Toil are uh, ever gonna get back together? Honestly, I don't. I don't. If you leave here, the adventure will really be over. Your friends will follow you out of the underground. I think I'm ready. Whoa. It's so beautiful. Well, it's just the A team left. Whoops. Uh, should I do something? Well, gotta go. <laughs> well, can I do both? Can I like hang with them for a bit and then go home and then visit every once in a while? Um, I do. I, I probably do have places to go. I have places to go. Uh, I see. I am a changed little boy. God, not. What the hell? I'm just gonna like go home and mom's gonna be like, where the hell are you? You have soccer practice in like two hours. Oh, there's Papyrus by Toby and Temmy. Oh, and the little birdie. And Sans by Toby. Wow, look at him go. There's, oh, are they gonna smooch? I'm dying in Alphys. Mwah. Oh. Oh my God. Oh, there's Asgore. Oh, he's just, just doing a bit of guard. Wow, that looks great. Oh, the kid. Oh, and there's Toriel. Oh, Toriel's a teacher. 
That's sweet. Okay, so I guess uh, even if they're not together, at least she is still willing to hire Asgore as a contract landscaper. And there's the mountain. And that's the way it looked when I almost died at the beginning. The... And... Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Oh, no. Yeah, okay. Did you really think it was over? Oh, it's the kid. I mean, we haven't even done the special thanks yet. Ah, oh, that's cute. Ready? Let's end all of this for good. Oh, I have infinite HP. Special thanks. Oh my god. Oh, I have to dodge the credits? Yo, this is a fun mechanic. I'm having good fun. Ah, look at all those credits that I touched. God damn it. Good night. It's the middle of the afternoon. Ah, we took a picture together. The end. Very cute. We did it, ladies and gentlemen. We beat Undertale without killing a single thing. Oh, Ducky. I know that there's another way to play this game, and I know that it involves killing everybody. So I suppose I should go ahead and do that. Ah, oh, but it makes me feel so sad because, like, the message this game has been trying to drive home over and over again is, like... If you reset the file and start over, you're gonna like rip all these people away from their happy ending and then kill everybody. So what I'm actually probably gonna do is just leave this Undertale journey here uh, for now. Um, and once I get this big video out, the big Undertale video out, uh, if it does really well and people are really like, a lot of people are watching it and really want me to do the genocide run, I will do the genocide run. Oh, I see you now.